Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Konoha. There is a Kagaya in the body. Chapter 21. At this critical moment, a voice full of boiling killing intent resounded in this evil palace. Gossip breaking the mountain. The terrifying pale golden rays suddenly lit up in this dim palace, saving the world like the glorious salvation of the gods. The gods descended from the sky. Scourge falls like light. The pale golden ray full of angry killing intent blasted towards Tetsuya Fatai, and the destructive light penetrated Tetsuya Fatai's body, causing terrifying damage. The immortal body he obtained from the evil god was slowly broken under the attack containing the forbidden power, the body was constantly dissipating, and the soul was wailing in pain. Fatai Toru also let out a desperate scream, his proud immortal body became an accomplice to torture him slowly at this moment. He stretched out his hand to touch the huge statue of the evil god in front of him, and kept murmuring evil words in his mouth. And the statue of the evil god on the altar is like a real stone statue, which doesn't respond to all of this. At the same time, his vocal cord nerves had been pierced and damaged, and he could not speak at all. At this time, Fatai Toru also turned into dust all over the sky and dissipated, ending his bloody and sinful life. Outside the palace. With a pale golden light all over his body, Hinata Setsuna looked at Tatsuya Fatai who had turned into ashes with a killing intent on his face, and gradually calmed down his anger. The forbidden power in the body became very active after coming to this temple. If Hinata Setsuna hadn't forcibly appeased it, the forbidden power might have rushed towards the statue of the evil god in a riot. The pale golden light spots around him transformed into a brilliant and gorgeous light belt with Hinata's instant thoughts. Under Hanada Setsuna's control, the pale golden band of light flew towards the sleeping and comatose moonlight bayou on the altar. The statue of the evil god stood on top of it, and did not respond to the floating light belt, allowing it to take away its own sacrifice. As the band of light bound Yugong Bayou and brought her back to Hanada Setsuna, his hanging heart slowly eased. If the statue of the evil god had just blocked it, it was unknown whether she could save Yugong Bayou. Seeing the moonlight Bayou lying in his arms, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed a trace of surprise. He really didn't expect that moonlight Bayou, who usually wears a mask and is extremely cold, would give people a gentle feeling after taking off the mask. Well, it's like the traditional Yamato Nadako in Japan. Especially now that she is in a coma, her true character seems to be revealed and she looks very cute. In the confined space, watching Hayuga Setsuna embrace moonlight Bayou. Otsutsuki Kagaya's face also gradually took on a dissatisfied expression, how could this child be so close to a girl, she said. Shamo, pay attention to that statue of the evil god, the breath of the underworld is coming from it. Hearing Otsutsuki Kagaya's slightly dissatisfied voice, Hinata Setsuna came back to his senses, with a wry smile on his face. Feeling the dissatisfaction from Kagaya Otsutsuki, it kept flickering in his mind like a warning light. Hayuga looked at the strange statue of the evil god with a serious expression on his face. The forbidden power in his body was extremely excited after seeing the statue of the evil god, and it happened that he was about to be unable to suppress it, so he just let the forbidden power test the depth. I saw that the forbidden power gathered around Hinata's body into a bright belt of light like a galaxy, rushing straight towards the statue of the evil god. The statue of the evil god in the palace did not respond to this. No response. Looking at the indifferent statue of the evil god, Hinata Setsuna's eyes were full of doubts. Is this idol really just a simple idol? Boom. The light band transformed by the forbidden power soon hit the statue of the evil god. But what is surprising is that the statue quickly collapsed and destroyed after being hit. Only the broken idol remained. Like it's really just a statue. And the forbidden power on the void of the altar was also very humanely stunned, as if wondering where its dinner went. Hinata Setsuna also looked at the broken idol with a face full of astonishment. Is this thing really just a statue? After the forbidden power in the void determined humanly that the statue of the evil god was fake, it returned directly to Hinata Setsuna's body in a dejected manner. Seeing the forbidden power obediently returning to his body, Hinata Setsuna thought about it. Counting the previous night, the banning power has probably been cheated twice. In the forbidden space, Otsutsuki Kagai looked at the forbidden power who came back dejectedly, and she was also extremely happy in her heart. 
It's rare that the power that sealed him was actually deflated. In an instant, leaving here, the breath of Huang Quan disappeared, and it disappeared so quickly that I didn't even notice it. You didn't even notice Grandma. It may be that it sensed the power of the ban on you, so it disappeared quickly. Thoughts flashed in Hanada Setsuna's eyes, and he put Moonlight Bayou on his back, and walked out of the palace. Really. I remember that in the original book, the cult of the evil god seems to belong to Tang Ninja Village, why did it appear at this point in time? Whether it's because of the underworld, the forbidden power or the evil god, it seems that it is necessary to go to Tangren Village in the future. Chingchuan Town. Anbu Stronghold B&B. Bright sunlight poured in from outside the window, and Moonlight Bayou, who was lying on the tatami, slowly opened her eyes. Looking at the unfamiliar ceiling in front of her, Yugong Bayou was a little dazed for a while. Where is this place? Is it Pure Land Yellow Spring? When she was finally in a coma, she vaguely remembered the guy with the scarlet sickle walking towards her. I should be dead by now. I don't know what happened to Hinata Setsuna. Boom. The door of the room was opened, and Hinata Setsuna walked in with a bowl of porridge in his hand. Looking at Moonlight Bayou who had already woken up on the tatami, he said in surprise. Captain Bayou, you're awake. You, you, why are you here? Are you dead too? Moonlight Bayou looked at Setsuna Hinata who walked into the room with the bowl in astonishment, and said with sadness in her words. This guy didn't come to save me, he was killed too. Hinata Setsuna sighed helplessly, then came to her side with porridge and said with a gentle smile on his face. Captain, you didn't die, and I didn't die either, we survived. Staring blankly at the warm smile on Hayuga Setsuna's face, Yugong Bayou suddenly felt that this was not bad. No, what am I thinking? Yugong Bayou blushed and hurriedly threw those thoughts out of her head. Looking at Moonlight Shiratsuki lying on the tatami mat for a while, blushing for a while, shaking his head for a while, and then looking at him inexplicably, Hayuga Setsuna felt that Moonlight Shirazuki might not be able to bear the pressure, maybe he was a little crazy. Two days later, Chingchuan Town. At this time, Yugong Bayou had already recovered from her injuries, and she also wore a fox mask on her face to cover her appearance. It's just that she would secretly look at Setsuna Hinata at the side from time to time, and after being noticed by him, she turned her head and pretended to be nonchalant. Hayuga Setsuna had a helpless smile on his face, since he told Yugong Bayou what happened two days ago. She has been like this for a while, and now even Otsutsuki Kegaya in his body is a little unhappy. Two days ago, when Yugong Bayou asked him how he rescued her. Hayuga Setsuna took the opportunity to sneak attack and wound him on the grounds that the guy who believed in the evil god could not move while praying to the statue of the evil god. Then he took the opportunity to escape from the evil god's palace with Yugong Bayou. Of course, this is just Hanada Setsuna's rhetoric, whether Yugong Bayou believes it or not, Fatai Toru is dead now, and there is no proof of death. Even if Yugong Bayou reported her to Serutobi Hirazan, he is not afraid, anyway, Konoha village must not be able to find Fatai Toruya. If you really want to find it, you may have to send someone down to the Pure Land and Yellow Spring to find it. As for the women who were captured by the bandits, Hinata Setsuna returned to Anbi's stronghold with Yugong Bayou after leaving them enough money and dry food. After packing up everything, the two set off towards Muya village. Shu. Shu. Two figures were jumping on the big trees in the forest, and the moonlight Bayou wearing a fox mask was always absent-mindedly looking towards the direction of Setsuna. For some reason, she felt strange about her behavior during this time, and this feeling made her a little overwhelmed. In this way, the two kept moving forward at a high speed, and soon returned to Muya village before the night fell. After passing through the secret passage of Anbu, the two came to the mission delivery office. After delivering the task, Moonlight Bayou walked out of the room and said to Setsuna Hanada. Because of Anbu's confidentiality policy, we will not be recorded in your ninja file for this mission, but will only be stored in Anbu as a file. Hanada Setsuna nodded indifferently, and he didn't have any opinion on it. And the details of this mission cannot be revealed. After agreeing on the time for the next mission, the two separated at the exit of Anbu. Naruto Office. At this time, Yugong Bayou was half kneeling in front of Serutobi Hirazan in Anbu attire, reporting the status of this mission. 
three generations of adults, the situation of the task is roughly like this. Hiruzuru Serutobi behind the desk was puffing on his pipe, and after hearing that Toru Fatai also had an immortal body and an evil god, a faint gleam flashed in his eyes. After being silent for a while, Hiruzuru Serutobi spoke. Did Hinata Setsuna take you away? Yes, Hokage-sama. After getting a definite answer, Hiruzuru Serutobi said after pondering for a while. I'll transfer you to S-rank for this mission. You don't have to worry about the cult of the evil god and the guy who escaped. The village will deal with it. If you have nothing to do next, go down. Yes. Moonlight Bayou used the instant body technique to leave from Hokage's office. It seems that the ninja world is going to be uneven again. Hiruzuru Serutobi held a pipe in his hand, got up and went to the window to look at the prosperous village in Hokage Rock, his mind was full of thoughts. He could vaguely feel that the undercurrent hidden under the ninja world was constantly accumulating, and now the unexpected appearance of the evil god sect appeared, but he didn't know when it would erupt. At that time, I'm afraid it will be another cruel war. By that time, I don't know how many people in the village will die again. Thinking of Serutobi Hirazan, his heart couldn't help but feel heavy. Another place, the base of the root. At this time, in the room deep in the root, a root ninja wearing a monkey face mask is reporting the mission to Danzo. In the shadows of the room, Danzo squinted his eyes half closed, listening to the task report. It's just that when he heard about the immortal body and the cult of the evil god, Danzo Shimura opened his falcon's eyes, and a trace of solemnity flashed in them. After fully understanding the mission, Shimura Danzo said after a silent meeting. How did Serutobi arrange it? The third generation just randomly arranged a few Anbu ninjas to go to that cottage, but I don't know if there are other people following in secret. Really. Shimura Danzo's eyes flickered with thought, and then he spoke. Arrange Luyu, Shangui, Fengchong, and Chasing Rain to go to that cottage to see if there is anything missing. After speaking halfway, Danzo Shimura remained silent for a while, his eyes flashed fiercely, and he said with a murderous look in his words. If the people Serutobi sent get any clues or information, let the four of them kill those people. Be clean when you kill. Yes, Danzo-sama. Okay, you go down. With the departure of the monkey-faced root ninja, the house returned to calm again. Danzo Shimura is seated in the shadows, half of his face is covered by darkness, and the other half is covered by light. There was an inexplicable meaning in his words. Serutobi, time has passed not long ago, and some people outside the village have gradually become active again. We must have enough deterrence to suppress their arrogant ambitions. Serutobi, you are still too soft-hearted, it is wrong for the teacher to pass on the location of Hokage to you. On the other side, Hayuga Setsuna had already returned to his home at this time. In this mission, many things surprised him. Whether it is the evil god or the sage of the six paths, or to rescue Otsutsuki Kagaya from the seal in the future, it needs to be strong enough. Now he can't relax himself. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. There was a rhythmic knock on the door outside the house. Hinata Setsuna, who just sat cross-legged on the tatami and practiced, also felt strange, who would look for him again. He got up and went outside the house, opened the door, and looked at the person wearing a white cherry blossom kimono outside, Hinata Setsuna asked with a warm smile on his face. Are you the one from last time? What's the reason for coming to me this time? That's right, the one who knocked on his door just now was the one who took him to meet the elder Yusuke Hayuga last time. The man looked at Hinata Setsuna with a puzzled face and said. The elder wants to see you. Still speaking concisely and clearly as usual, after he finished speaking, he turned and walked towards the distance, and motioned Hinata Setsuna to follow. Is Hayuga Yusuke going to see him again? He just came back for a while and wanted to see him by himself. It must be something important. Hayuga Setsuna followed behind that person and walked towards the house where Hayuga Yusuke lived. Hayuga Sojiya. In a courtyard, two figures are constantly fighting and colliding. Hinata Setsuna ignited light blue chakra in both hands, and used soft fists to continuously hit Hinata Yusuke. The power is good, and the basic skills are very solid. Hayuga Yusuke stretched out his right palm to block the soft fist that was hitting him and commented lightly. Then he quickly grabbed Hinata Setsuna's body with both hands, 
trying to make his center of gravity unstable and throw him to the ground. Seeing that he was about to be thrown to the ground, Hyuga Setsuk didn't panic. He used his waist and abdomen to rotate, and took advantage of the momentum to kick his right foot out, while his left foot quickly caught up with the subsequent attack. Seeing Setsuk Hyuga who did not blindly use soft fists to counterattack, Yusuk Hyuga flashed a hint of appreciation in his eyes. The child's grasp and flexibility in combat were somewhat beyond his expectations. After all, members of the Hyuga clan in the past were rarely as flexible and changeable as Hyuga Setsuna, and they continued to use soft fists to fight against the enemy. Although their Hyuga clan's soft fist is very strong, they still need to be flexible when facing the enemy. Facing the kick that Hinata Setsuk attacked him, Hinata Yusuk still kept his face indifferent. He first protected his head with his hand, and then slapped Hinata Setsuna's head hard with his right palm. Boom. When Hyuga Yusuk hit him, Hyuga in the air exploded with a bang and scattered into white smoke. Looking at the smoke drifting in front of him, Hinata Yusuke's eyes were filled with astonishment. Shadow Avatar. When was it sealed? Suddenly, Hyuga Yusuke's eyes froze, and the whites of his eyes were already bulging with blue veins. Through his white eyes 360 degrees inside without blind angles, he saw that Hinata Setsuna, who was behind him, had already made a soft fist and raising gesture that he was very familiar with. Just as he was about to distance himself and turn around, he found that he was already trapped in the field of gossip, and an invisible force locked Hinata Yusuke's every move. Soft fist technique Bagua 64 palms. 2 palms. 4 palms. 8 palms. 16 palms. 32 palms. 64 palms. As Hinata's clear voice sounded, his figure rushed towards Hinata Yusuke like a thunderbolt, and at the same time, his hands kept attacking Hinata Yusuke's 64 chakra acupuncture points all over his body. Yusuke Hinata, who was in the field of gossip, looked serious when he saw the attack coming towards him like a storm. A terrifying chakra reaction emerged from his body, his hands were ignited with light blue chakra, he posed for a pose, and hit him with the same gossip 64 palms. Bang! 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 In the courtyard, two figures as fast as thunder collided crazily at this moment. Hinata Setsuna saw that the gossip 64 palms he played were constantly resisted by the old man in front of him, and he even counterattacked. He knew that the old man in front of him had already started to make serious moves. Boom. Two deep marks were drawn on the ground, and Hinata Setsuna's feet slid on the ground continuously, unleashing that huge force into the ground before slowly stopping. Huh, your current strength is a bit beyond my expectation. Hinata Yusuk let out a breath, and a complicated look flashed in his eyes and said to Hinata Setsuna in the distance. This kid's talent is a little too good. That's the end of today's sparring. Hinata Setsuna, who had just adjusted her own breath, said respectfully after hearing the words of the old man in front of her. Okay, teacher. Then I'll go first. Following Hinata Setsuna's departure, Hinata Yusuke also came to sit down in the living room in the front yard, drinking the tea in the teacup. Looking at the sky in the distance, the old man's eyes flashed with a complicated and worried look, and he whispered. Too much talent is not a very good thing, let alone you were born in a separate family. It has been several days since I came back from the last mission. And Hinata Yusuke called him to go there just for simple training, and didn't ask too much about Anbu's mission. Presumably he also knew about Anbu's confidentiality regulations, so he didn't ask. Hinata Setsuna returned home, took a shower and finished dinner, and then went out, bringing his rich wallet by the way. At this time, night fell, and the moon and stars were shining in the sky. Looking at the bustling Konoha village in front of him, Hinata Setsuna sighed in his heart. Obviously he had only carried out a mission, why did he feel as if he had been in another world after returning? On the bustling street, many ninjas walked on the street relaxed and happy after completing their missions, enjoying the rare tranquility. Walking on the street, Hinata walked comfortably in an instant. The girls and women in the past also looked at his face. After all, Hinata Setsuna's delicate and handsome face matched his current age, so he was a legitimate wife. If some people in Jungtai control see it, I'm afraid they will be abducted home. Kawaii, he's so cute. Yeah, yeah, this child from the Hinata family is so cute. Bayan feels so beautiful on him, he 
he is much more handsome than other members of the Hyuga clan. And his smile is so contagious, I feel like I can go to the Hyuga clan to propose marriage. Listening to the comments and praises of several girls not far away, Hinata Setsumo had a warmer smile on his face, and at the same time, joy and joy flashed in his eyes. Why, just the compliments from a few little girls make you so happy. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegai looked at the happy Hinata Setsuna, and said with dissatisfaction in her words, and there was an emotion in her heart that she didn't understand. Feeling the emotion from Otsutsuki Kegaya for a moment, Hinata scratched his hair and said with a teasing smile on his face. Grandma, are you jealous? HMPH, how could this concubine be jealous of a few little girls as the dignified, ancestor of Chakra, and, goddess of Mao? In the distance, the voices of several girls came again. Ah, Sha Yuchen, did you see that kid scratching his head is so kawaii. Oko Kokak. Kegaya Otsutsuki in the confined space turned dark immediately when he heard the laughter, and muttered to himself. It's better to destroy this world. Hinata Setsuna, who was walking on the busy street, listened to Itsuki Kegaya's dangerous speech and the emotions that kept coming from his heart, a wry smile suddenly appeared on his face. Really, Grandma, you need to haggle over every detail and be jealous with a few little girls. While Hinata Setsuna kept comforting Otsutsuki Kegaya, he finally arrived at the destination of this trip, a famous noodle restaurant in the Naruto world. A happy ramen. It's finally here. Hinata Setsuna looked at the ordinary noodle shop in front of him, and said with a smile on his face. In the confined space, Kegaya Itsuki, who had just been comforted, also looked at the small noodle shop in front of him and said curiously. Shimo, why did you come here? Of course it's because the noodles here are delicious. Hinata Setsuna smiled back. After all, this is the most famous Ichiraku ramen in Hokage, if you come to the world of Naruto and don't eat a bowl of authentic Iraku ramen, how can you do it? In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya stopped talking after listening to Hinata Setsuna's concise and clear answer. She thought there was something the child was interested in here. I didn't expect it to be just a small ramen restaurant. Walking into Yil Noodle Restaurant, Hayuga Setsuna chose an empty seat and sat down. Is this a joy? Actually, it's called hand beating. But after all, Yil is better known. Looking at Yil who is still young at this time and has not yet grown into an uncle, Hinata Setsuna realizes that Uncle Yil was quite handsome when he was young. No wonder his daughter Akoris will be so beautiful in the future. The young Uncle Yil looked at Hinata Setsuna who came in and said enthusiastically. Oh, hello, guest, what do you need? Well, let's have a huge bowl of tonkatsu ramen. Okay, guest, please wait a moment. After speaking, the young Uncle Yil went to make ramen with a warm smile on his face. Hayuga Setsuna sat on the seat, looked at this small noodle shop, and sighed in his heart. I'm afraid no one would have imagined that this small yil noodle restaurant can run through the plot of the entire Naruto world. In the future, this Ichiraku noodle restaurant will not only be eaten by Naruto, but also have Aruka, Hitaki Kakashi, Serutobi Hirazan, Tsunade, Jiraiya, Namikaze Minato, Kashina, Obito, Lin and the others will also be customers of this ramen restaurant in the future. At this moment, the cloth covering the outside of the noodle shop was pulled up, and Kakashi walked in with a mask on his face. Kakashi. Why are you wearing your mask? Hinata Setsuna looked at Kakashi who covered his face and asked aloud. He didn't bring Kakashi before, why did he suddenly bring it now? Kakashi who walked into the noodle shop also saw Setsuna Hinata, and his eyes behind the mask suddenly turned into dead fish eyes. You're here too, Setsuna. Ha, huh, of course. And why do you turn into dead fish eyes when you see me? I'm not, I don't, don't talk nonsense. Kakashi said in denial three times. Forget it, let's skip this topic. I'm more interested in why you suddenly put on a mask. Wearing a mask is just for fun. While answering Hinata Setsuna's question, Kakashi said to the young uncle Ichiraku. Boss, have a big bowl of soy sauce ramen. Good guest, please wait a moment. Uncle Yil, who was cooking noodles, replied loudly with a warm and welcoming smile on his face. Hey, hey, Kakashi, you should make up a better reason, don't answer others with such a perfunctory answer. No, I'm telling the truth, wearing a mask is really my hobby. Kakashi, 
who was sitting next to Setsuna Hayuga, replied. Setsuna touched his chin, wondering why Kakashi was wearing a mask. He remembered that Kakashi wore the mask, as if to imitate his father, White Fang, and the person Kakashi loved most was his father, White Fang. And White Fang seemed to have to wear a mask whenever he went on a mission. In other words, Kakashi also wore a mask in order to imitate his father White Fang. After figuring this out, Hayuga Setsuna said with a weird smile on his face. Kakashi, you don't imitate wearing a mask because you adore your father White Fang, do you? After hearing Hanata Setsuna's words, Kakashi, who was quietly in a daze, quickly denied it. No, I said that this is my interest. Listening to Kakashi's categorical denials under the mask, Hinata Setsuna stopped teasing him, anyway, he had already guessed about it. At this time, Kakashi's face under the mask was already very embarrassed, he never expected Hinata Setsuna to be able to guess it, this is too surprising. At this moment, two large bowls of tonkatsu ramen and soy sauce ramen were brought up and placed in front of the two of them. The young Uncle Yil stretched out his hand and gave a thumbs up, and said with a warm smile on his face. Guests, your ramen is ready. Oh, thank you boss X2. Then I'll start X2. After finishing speaking, Setsuna picked up his chopsticks and prepared to eat, while Kakashi who was at the side also secretly pulled off his mask and started eating ramen. Kakashi, I thought you wouldn't take off your mask when eating ramen, ha ha ha. How is it possible, I can't make a hole in the mask, can I? Okay. Hearing Kakashi's words, Setsuna froze for a moment. He seemed to remember that when the four of the seventh class ate ramen together in the original animation, Kakashi must have opened a hole in the mask. But the memory is too far away, and he can't remember it clearly, but it should have happened. Hey, hey, Kakashi, maybe you will really open a hole in the mask to eat in the future. Ha! Huh. That's impossible, how could I be stupid enough to do something like that? That's not necessarily true. After finishing speaking, Hinata Setsuke didn't talk for a moment, he raised his chopsticks and ate his huge bowl of tonkatsu ramen. Taking the first bite in the mouth, Hinata immediately realized that the taste is really great, if there is a rule in this world that eating delicious food will explode your clothes. There is no doubt that after eating this bowl of yil ramen, you will definitely explode. Picking up the sliced pork in the tonkatsu ramen and putting it in his mouth, Hinata Setsuna regretted why he didn't come to eat ikraku ramen before. It feels like life in the past few years is really. He decided that he must eat more ramen in the future. Hey. Suck, boss, your noodles are really delicious. Hearing Hinata Setsuna's praise, the young Uncle Yil said with happiness in his eyes. Because the taste of emotion is put into this dish, it is so delicious. Really. Yes, it takes the most exquisite materials, skilled skills and feelings to create a happy taste every day. Hinata Setsuna ate all the tonkatsu ramen in the bowl, raised his hand and gave the young uncle Ikail a compliment and said. Boss, there will definitely be many, many people coming to your place to taste the delicious ramen in the future. Haha, ha, well, then I have to work harder. Boom. Kakashi gently placed the bowl in his hand on the table, and also praised it. Boss, your craftsmanship is really good. Ha ha, thank you for your compliments. After eating the ramen, the two stood up and said goodbye to the young uncle Ikail. Boss, the money is on the table. If we are free in the future, we will come over to eat. Well, then I'll give you a discount later. Then thank you boss. It's okay, this is a special price for regular customers ha ha ha. After saying goodbye to the young uncle Ichiraku, Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi walked out of Ichiraku Noodle Restaurant and came to Konoha Street under the night. On Konoha Street at night, Setsuna Hinata said goodbye to Kakashi before he came to a large shop selling ninja tools. The usual visitors to this kind of ninja shop are usually ninjas. Usually, no ordinary people come back to the ninja shop. Of course, there are also those who buy small ninja toys for children, but most of them go to small ninja stores, and large ninja stores basically sell ninja weapons. The ninja shop in front of Setsuna is one of the large ninja shops in Konoha village. Of course, as a large ninja tool store, the ninja tools here are much better than those in other places, but the price is a little bit more expensive. Setsuna Hayuga walked into the store, and today he came with enough wallets. Hi guest, is there any ninja gear that I need to buy? 
Inside the store, a girl in a Sakura kimono looked at Hinata Setsuna who walked in and asked respectfully. In fact, if Hinata Setsuna hadn't worn the Konoha Ninja forehead protector on his forehead, there was a high probability that he would be kicked out by the girl in front of him as a naughty child when he walked in. Setsuna Hayuga looked at the ninja tools in the store and said to the girl in front of him. Excuse me, do you still have chakra conductive metal materials here? I want to make a purchase. After listening to Hinata Setsuna's words, the girl said with apology and embarrassment on her face. Ah, if you want chakra conductive metal materials, our customers are out of stock. After all, this kind of combat preparation material is very scarce even if it is not in wartime. The girl's apologetic words rang in Hinata Setsuna's ears. Not anymore. Forget it, anyway, it is expected, after all, chakra conductive metal is a rare combat preparation material, and Konoha village should also restrict it. Although his main purpose is to conduct metal with chakra, but now that it is gone, let's take a second place. Hinata's clear voice sounded in an instant. Since the chakra conductive metal is out of stock, then get me some short knives. Sharp and strong. Okay, then guest, please come with me this way. The girl in Sakura kimono at the side led Hinata Setsuna to the counter where the knives were placed. Coming to the counter where the short knives are stored, the girl introduced softly. Guest, all the short knives here meet your requirements, please take a look. After all, the girl stretched out her plain hand and took a few short knives and handed them to Setsuna Hinata. Reaching out to take the dagger, Hayuga Setsuna raised his hand and hit the dagger lightly with a flick of his fingers. The dagger made a crisp and loud sound, and it disappeared after a long time. Hinata Setsuna stroked the blades of several short knives with an extremely satisfied expression on his face. Although these short knives are not made of chakra conductive metal, they are also made of other expensive materials, which should be enough for him to use for a long time. Well, just these few handles, you help me wrap them up. Good customer, in terms of price. Price is not a problem. Hayuga Setsuna waved his hand casually, indicating that price is not a problem. The girl in the cherry blossom kimono on the side listened to Hinata Setsuna's words, and she also had a happy smile on her face. Obviously, Setsuna Hinata bought these ninja tools, and her bonus will definitely not be too small. Although she works part-time in one of the largest ninja tool shops in Konoha village, the salary is very good, but if she can make extra money, she is also very happy. Watching the girl in the cherry blossom kimono take away the short knives she had chosen and package them, Hinata Setsuna also came to the place where the bill was settled to pay. After he paid the bill, the Sakura kimono girl also came back with a sealed scroll. She said with a warm smile on her face. Hello guest, your short knives have been stored in the sealed scroll for you. Hinata Setsuna reached out to take the seal scroll and nodded to the Sakura kimono girl, then turned and walked out of the ninja shop. Behind her was the farewell voice of a girl in a cherry blossom kimono, and the vaguely audible content was words such as welcome next time. Walking on the bustling Konoha street, Hinata Setsuna sighed heavily after touching the shriveled wallet tied around his waist. Although he knew that this large ninja store was very expensive, what he didn't expect was that the price was beyond his expectations. Today's purchase costs have reduced the money he had saved with great difficulty in recent years. Soon Hinata Setsuna comforted and optimistically persuaded himself, although the few short knives were a little expensive, but in terms of materials and materials, they were still very good, at least worth the price. Time passed slowly, and it was already late at night. Hinata Setsuna also returned home to sleep and rest. In the restricted space, it was still the same white land as before, without the slightest vitality. Decorated luxuriously in the palace. On the throne above the main hall, Otsutsuki Kegaya was lying there in thin clothes at this time, her exposed skin was like the purest white jade and at the same time, there was a deep laziness in her expression. Lazy, I don't care that I'm already happy. At this time, she doesn't have the majesty as the ancestor of Chakra, but she is more like a lazy girl. The moonlight from the outside world slowly entered the restricted space through Hinata Setsuna's body, and then slowly fell on Kegaya Otsutsuki. The moonlight shining on her was as beautiful as a goddess in the moon palace. Otsutsuki Kegaya, who was lying on the throne, 
slowly opened his half-closed eyes, his brows were slightly frowned, and there was an inexplicable meaning in his eyes, and his red lips parted softly and said in a low voice. It still doesn't work. In the confined space, the white earth began to change as if feeling Otsutsuki Kegaya's emotions. Except for the central palace where Otsutsuki Kegaya was located, the rest of the luxurious and beautiful palaces seemed to be annihilated and dissipated from the molecular structure, turning into faint white spots of light and settling on the ground. However, soon these palaces reappeared slowly as if going back in time. And lying on the throne, Otsutsuki Kegaya looked thoughtful, looking into the distance and wondering what he was thinking. The next morning, Hayuga Setsuna got up from the bed after a night of rest. After washing up and having breakfast, he went to his practice base to train. Although he now has his grandmother Otsutsuki Kegaya as his trump card and golden finger, his personal cultivation cannot be left behind. After all, the ninja world is also a world that attributes great power to itself. If you don't work hard, maybe you don't even have the qualifications to live. Take the forehead guard and tie it on the forehead, covering the ugly caged bird. Hayuga Setsuna soon came to his training base, in a forest, he kept waving the basic skills and essentials of soft fist. And at this moment, a voice full of vigor resounded in the forest again. If you don't do one leapfrogs today, do squats and handstand walks. Hearing the energetic voice coming from the forest, Hinata Setsuna stopped and said in a surprised tone. Is that Kei's voice? Hearing the energetic voice coming from the forest, Hinata Setsuna stopped and said in a surprised tone. Is that Kei's voice? Hinata Setsuna walked towards the direction of the sound. Sure enough, when he walked over, the first thing he saw was Matt Kei's iconic green tights and watermelon-skinned hair. In the forest, Matakai was squatting down and performing a standard leapfrog. Matakai should have come here for training very early, his body and legs trembling while leaping and squatting. Looking at the scene in front of him, even though Hanada Setsuna knew that Matakai would rely on physical skills to prove himself in the future, seeing this scene with his own eyes still shocked him. Seeing Matakai who continued his training, Hanada Setsuna went out to say hello. K, long time no see. After hearing Hanada Setsuna's voice, Matakai, who was sweating profusely, jumped up excitedly. Looking at Hanada Setsuna with joy and a smirk on his face, he said. Setsuna kun, long time no see. Looking at Hinata Setsuna in front of him, Matakai looked very excited. After all, in his eyes, Hinata Setsuna is not only his lifelong friend, but also the second person who recognizes him besides his father, and it makes Matakai insist on the way of ninja he chose. Seeing the very excited Matakai in front of him, Hinata Setsuna couldn't help but smile wryly. He won't replace Kakashi as Matakai's lifelong enemy in the future, right? Thinking of this, Hinata instantly had the urge to cover his face. However, looking at Matakai in front of him, he suddenly had an idea. I want to have a duel with Matt K. Hayuga Setsuke said to Matakai with a smile on his lips. Kai, you want to have a physical combat with me? Hearing Hinata Setsuna's words, Matakai's expression froze. After a while, Matkai said to Setsuna Hinata with an incredulous expression on his face. Setsuna kun, let, let me fight with you, how is this possible? How can I be your opponent, Mr. Setsuna, and with my strength, it is impossible to fight against you, Mr. Setsuna. Looking at the smiling Hinata Setsuna in front of him, Matakai shook his head frantically and refused. Yes, in Matekai's eyes, Hinata Setsuna is a genius of the ninja school, and a genius who graduated early at the age of five, how could he defeat such a person? What's more, Hayuga Setsuna is still his good friend for life. Although I have made some progress in physical skills, Setsuna Hayuga is also a genius of the Hayuga clan, and his physical skills will definitely not be worse than him, or even better than him. It's really hard for him to compete against Setsuna Hinata with his own strength. Looking at Matakai who refused to fight with him in front of him, Hinata Setsuna knew that Matakai at this time hadn't realized the horror in his physical training, so he lacked confidence. Looking at Matakai, whose body was full of scars due to excessive training, Hinata Setsuna said with an unquestionable tone. Kai, don't you believe in the physical skills you have always insisted on? Or are you going to give up so easily? 
Come and fight with me, and prove to me your persistence in martial arts and your ninja way. After finishing speaking, Hinata Setsuna ignored the disappointed Meitakai, just turned around and walked out with a little disappointment. On the other side, after listening to Hinata Setsuna's words, Meitakai was stunned. Yes, the reason why I have been practicing Taijutsu is to imagine that others can prove that even if I only know Taijutsu, I can become a great ninja. Why? Why has he flinched now? I told my father that I would do everything I said. Taking a deep breath, with youthful will in his eyes, Meitakai stretched out his right hand and gave a thumbs up to himself, shouting loudly to Setsuna Hinata who was about to leave. Setsuna kun, I accept your duel. Hearing Meitakai's words, Hinata Setsuna, who had pretended to be disappointed and left, had a smile on his lips. He knew that this hot blooded youth fool would definitely agree to him, if he didn't agree, he wouldn't be Meitakai. Hinata turned around and looked at Meitakai, who was posing the classic pos at this time, and he seemed to see the figure of the Konoha proud blue beast in the future. In the forest, Seeing Meitakai who was doing warm-up exercises with a full face on the opposite side, Hinata Setsuna's face became serious, after all, Meitakai is worthy of his seriousness. Hayuga Setsuna said silently in his heart. Kai, let me see your hard work and persistence in taijutsu and ninja. At this moment, Meitakai, who had finished warming up, removed the weight-bearing iron blocks from his hands and feet, and threw them aside. Boom. As the heavy iron fell to the ground, there was a heavy sound and huge smoke on the ground, and the ground was even dented. Hinata Setsuna looked at the scene in front of him with surprise in his eyes. He didn't expect Kai to start exercising with these heavy irons so early. Matt Kai noticed Hinata Setsu's surprised gaze, and said while touching his head in embarrassment. Because the opponent is you, Setsuna-kun, so I have to use all my strength to deal with it. Hinata Setsuna shook his head and said. Facing me, you should have had this kind of awareness a long time ago, Kai. If you're ready, come on. On the opposite side, after listening to it, Meitakai said with a very serious expression. Mr. Setsuna, then I'm coming. As soon as the words were finished, Meitakai's figure disappeared like thunder, leaving only an afterimage in place. Hinata Setsuna looked at Meitakai who disappeared and was very surprised. After unloading the heavy iron block, the speed is so fast. Noba Gang Force Whirlwind. Meitakai's figure suddenly appeared behind Hinata Setsuna, and the roundabout kick on his feet kicked towards him fiercely. Boom. The powerful and heavy kick was blocked by Hinata Setsuna's hands in front of him, and the ground under his feet was dented by this force. Feeling the heavy strength on both arms, Hinata Setsuna's eyes lit up. This kind of speed and strength is no worse than many chunin, and even surpassed some special JNIN who are not good at physical skills to a certain extent. Seeing Setsuna Hinata who easily resisted his attack, Meitakai also became excited. As expected of Setsuna Kun, he blocked his Konoha Goriki whirlwind so easily. Next, he will use his full strength. I saw his figure quickly appearing in front of Setsuna Hayuga, his body spinning quickly and shouting loudly. The big whirlwind of Konoha. Two high-speed kicks headed towards Hinata Setsuna. Boom. He easily caught the incoming kick, and pulled Meitakai's body and threw him out. Seeing Meitakai who landed easily, Hinata Setsuna said with a relaxed expression. K, if that's the only way, you can't beat me. Meitakai in the distance looked at Setsuna Hayuga with a relaxed expression on his face, and said seriously. Mr. Setsuna, the next forbidden technique was taught to me by my father. This forbidden technique is very dangerous, Mr. Setsuna, you have to be careful. Hearing Meitakai's words, Hinata Setsuna's expression became excited. Kai, let me see how powerful the Baman Dunjia is. In the forest, Meitakai folded his hands in front of his body exuding a terrifying chakra reaction, he shouted solemnly. Eight Gate Dunjia, open the door, open. Boom. As Meitakai liberated the eight-door Dunjia and opened the first door, a powerful and majestic chakra emerged from him. The ground under his feet began to sag and shatter continuously, and he couldn't bear Meitakai who opened the eight-door armor at this time. In the distance, Hayuga Setsuna looked excitedly at Meitakai who had finally opened the eight-door Dunjia. Come on K. Let me see your ninja enlightenment. 
At this time, the figure of Maitkai who had already opened the eight-door armor standing in the distance suddenly disappeared, as if giving people a feeling of teleportation, but in fact it was just an illusion given by the extreme speed. And around Hyuga Setsuna, a strong wind pressure is constantly raging in this area. Hinata Setsuna looked at the wind pressure around him caused by Maitakai's speed, his eyes flashed solemnly. You have only opened the first door of the eight Dungia, and your speed is already so fast. But no matter how fast you are now, I can still see you. K. Boom. At this moment, there was a sharp kick from behind, and Hinata Setsuna grabbed the leg kicked by mate Kai with both hands, and then slammed it hard towards the ground. Okay. Smashed. Seeing that Meitakai did not appear on the ground, Hinata Setsuna thought in surprise. Kai, you are really strong. As soon as the words fell, Meitakai's figure appeared in front of Hinata Setsuna for the first time, accompanied by the overwhelming shadow of fists and kicks. Seeing the oncoming fist shadow and kick, Hinata Setsuna swung a soft fist to deal with it. If you just want to use this kind of attack to defeat him, it's too whimsical. Of course, if it were an ordinary ninja who was not good at martial arts or normal, he might have been defeated or even died in the face of such an attack. In the forest, the two kept fighting in close combat, the trees were blown away one by one, and the ground was continuously dented and broken under the attacks of the two. If there are outsiders here at this time, they will find that the speed of the two is so fast that they can't see clearly at all. Quickly. In such a high-intensity attack, Meitkai was slightly at a disadvantage. After all, the effect of Baman Dungia is not permanent. The effect of this technique is only to temporarily open the human body's chakra circulation limiter, and it cannot last long at all. Boom. Hinata Setsuna saw the right moment and cast a soft fist to knock Meitkai out of the air. On the ground, smoke and dust rose everywhere, covering Hinata Setsuna's gaze. At this moment, a hoarse cry of pain suddenly came from within the smoke. Second door, Hugh door, open. The smoke and dust on the ground dissipated, and I saw that Maitakai's face had turned red with a look of pain at this time, his eyes were even whiter, and his hair began to stand up one by one toward the sky. The chakra all over his body is even more turbulent than before. Hayuga Setsuna in the distance looked at Maitakai at this time and said softly. Did you open the second door? I didn't expect you to be able to open the second door at this age. As expected of you, K. Meitakai in the distance kept exhaling white air, and said in a hoarse voice. I couldn't open it at first, but I barely opened it just now under the strong pressure of you, Setsuna-kun. Yeah, let me see how strong you are now. As soon as the voice fell, Hinata Setsuna's figure turned into a thunder and rushed towards Meitakai. The two soon fought again, and the terrifying wind pressure continued to rage in the forest. It's just that this time, Meitakai, who was originally at a disadvantage, kept up with Hinata Setsuna's speed, and even once was not at a disadvantage. Hinata Setsuna's eyes flickered with surprise as he watched Meitakai who kept attacking him. Meitakai who has opened the second door, he can completely fight with the Jonin at this time, unless the opponent is a stronger Taijutsu ninja or a kite-flying long-distance ninja, otherwise some ordinary ninja will not be able to fight at all defeat Meitakai at this time. However, this battle should come to an end. Seeing that Meitakai's face was flushed, and even his veins were bursting out but he was still persisting, Hinata Setsuna knew that it was time to end this battle. Otherwise, based on Meitakai's current body, he may be injured. After all, it is too dangerous for him to open eight doors at his current age. What's more, this is just a competition. I saw Hinata jumped away from the attacking places of both sides in an instant, posed in a soft fist posture, and said to mate Kai with light blue chakra flames in his palms. Kai, let's use this trick to bring our duel to an end. The field of gossip suddenly appeared to envelop mate Kai, and at the same time an invisible wave locked his body, leaving him no chance to escape. Soft fist technique Bagua 64 palms. 2 palms. 4 palms. 8 palms. 16 palms. 32 palms. 64 palms. Stormy attacks began to continuously hit Meitakai in the field of gossip, hitting the 64 chakra acupuncture points all over his body continuously. At the same time, with the blow of the soft fist, the chakra slowly penetrated into his body, constantly re-sealing the opening and closing doors in his body. 
In the forest, with the end of Ruquan Bagua 64 palms, Maitakai's body also fell down slowly. But before falling down, Hinata Setsuna caught him and helped him to rest under a tree beside him. At this moment, Maitakai had already released the state of Baman Dungia, his face and body were covered with cold sweat, and he couldn't move at all. When Hinata Setsuna used 64 palms on Maitakai just now, he had already used the minimum strength, only driving Chakra to close the two channels in his body again. Maitakai was resting under the tree, and Hinata Setsuna's voice came slowly. K, you lost. But you are really strong, you carry out your taijutsu and ninja way. After hearing these words of praise, Maitakai on the side didn't look happy, he just felt a little lost and depressed. Although I had already thought of such an ending, I didn't expect that I would still be unable to defeat Hinata Setsuna after using the eight dunjia taught by my father. But soon Matt K comforted himself with optimism. After all, Setsuna Kun is a genius, and it is not a shame to lose to him. Instead, as a friend, he should be happy for Setsuna Kun's strength. After comprehending this point, Maitakai felt that he should work harder in the future, and must keep up with Setsuna Kun's footsteps. Youth is absolutely not allowed to relax. Mikey said sincerely. Mr. Setsuna didn't expect that I would still be unable to defeat you after opening the eight doors of Dunjia. Your strength must be very strong. Baman Dunjia. Kai is a forbidden technique that is very dangerous. You'd better use it sparingly now. Your body won't last you long. Facing Maitakai, Hinata Setsuna said softly. Although he knew the origin of the Baman Dunjia, he couldn't pretend to know about it beforehand, otherwise Maitakai would guess if he was stupid. It's okay, I will close the Baman Dunjia before it exceeds the limit of my body. Mr. Setsuna, are you interested in Baman Dunjia? After hearing Maitakai's words, Hinata Setsuna showed a thoughtful look on his face. It would be a lie if he said he was not interested in the forbidden technique of Baman Dunjia, but if Maitakai taught him Baman Dunjia, what could he offer in return? Ruquan is definitely not good, although he doesn't care about it, but what Hinata said. Moreover, Maitakai is not suitable for taking the path of soft boxing. The other words seemed to be nothing, and they were all things that were not suitable for Metke. In this case, Hayuga Setsuna said with a sincere and serious look on his face. K, I'm very interested in Baman Dunjia, but I don't have anything to exchange for you. But I can promise you a promise to you. I will do my best to fulfill your promise as far as I can. After hearing such words, Maitakai said with a very hurried face. No. No, if it's Setsuna Kun, it's fine for you to practice Baman Dunjia, and you don't need to make promises, we are friends. As a friend, seeing Setsuna Kun become stronger is something to be happy about. Shaking his head, Hinata Setsuna said softly with a warm smile on his face. K, you accept this promise. Looking at Matt Kai who was anxiously about to refuse, Hinata Setsuna said in an unquestionable tone. If you still consider me a friend. With such words, Maitakai had no choice but to agree, after all, he didn't want to lose his lifelong friend Hinata Setsuna. But after thinking about it again, this is just a promise, and I might not be able to use it in the future. Mr. Setsuna, my father taught me the Baman Dunjia. This is a very dangerous forbidden technique. If you practice it later, you must be very careful. After all, Maitakai, who had just regained some strength, got up from under the tree, took out a sealing scroll, and took out the practice scroll of eight gate Dunjia from it. Looking at the practice scroll in front of him, he reached out and took it. Hayuga Setsuna looked at Maitakai who was exhausted in front of him, and said softly. K, don't be training today, you need to rest after opening the eight doors. Hearing Hinata Setsuna's concerned words, Maitakai stretched out his hand and gave a thumbs up. Don't worry, Setsuna-kun. After getting a satisfactory answer, the two left the forest separately. On the way home, Setsuna, this forbidden technique is very dangerous. It obtains powerful power by consuming one's own life and releasing the chakra in the body. Itsuki Kegaya's worried voice rang in Hinata Setsuna's ear. Grandmother, although it is said that Baman is a technique to gain powerful power by burning life, if it is studied or used properly, it is also a very good whole card. Otsutsuki Kegaya said in a melancholy tone after being silent for a while. 
I didn't expect that in the years when the concubine was sealed, humans would actually create such a technique. Listening to Otsutsuki Kegaya's words, Hinata Setsuna couldn't help thinking. The strength of human beings depends on chakra. No, no, it depends on their wisdom and research. From this point of view, Orochimaru's scientific research is completely correct, and he can maintain the attitude of studying science under the brainwashing of the will of fire in Konoha village. I have to say that Orochimaru is awesome. Back home, Hinata Setsuna unloaded his clothes. Just finished a duel with Kai, covered in sweat and smoke, though nothing too serious about him. But you have to take a good shower too. Standing in front of the mirror in the bathroom, looking at the delicate face of Masayoshi and the ugly caged bird on his forehead in the mirror, a haze flashed in Hinata Setsuna's eyes. Raising his hand to stroke the caged bird on his forehead, he whispered softly. Zong family. After a simple wash, Setsuna Hinata walked out of the bathroom wearing a white bathrobe. He casually tied his slightly wet black hair into a high ponytail. Coming to the living room, Hayuga Setsuna sat cross-legged on the tatami and picked up the practice scroll about Bamandungia. In terms of his current physique, after practicing Bamandungia, it can be used as a whole card in the future. Under the illumination of the light, Hayuga Setsuna kept flipping through the scroll in his hand. Clap. After closing the scroll, he had a simple understanding in his heart after carefully reading the scroll about the Bamandungia. Although I knew about it when I was in the original anime, but now this is the real world after all, and it is still very different from the original. To put it simply, Bamandungia is a forbidden technique that temporarily gains powerful power by releasing the body's shackles from chakra. The chakra in the human body flows in the meridian system, and the places that suppress and control the chakra in the body are the eight doors of opening, resting, living, hurting, do, jing, jing, and death. These eight doors will set a limit on the amount of chakra in the body. And the forbidden technique of Bamandungia can make chakra forcefully exceed this limit, so as to gain dozens of times beyond its original strength. But while gaining power, the caster will also suffer huge damage and even loss of vitality. And the state when all eight gates are opened is also called, Eight Gates Dungia Formation. Of course, people who open all eight gates will eventually die due to burning out of life. Hayuga put down the scroll for a moment, thought flashed in his eyes, the records in this scroll were similar to what he knew in his previous life, only there were some differences in subtleties. Now that he had gained enough understanding, Hinata Setsuna sat cross-legged, ready to start sensing the door in his body. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegai looked at the outside world who was already preparing to practice Baman Dunjia Hinata Setsu, worry and anger flashed in his eyes. I have told this child that it is very dangerous, why do I still have to practice, is my concubine's strength not enough to protect him? Although Otsutsuki Kegaya blamed Hinata Setsuna for being disobedient, she still silently used the power in her body to protect this disobedient child. In the confined space, moonlight-colored chakra emerged from Otsutsuki Kegaya's body, and then continuously entered Hinata Setsuna's body through the lazy forbidden power. It turned into a tiny moonlight barrier to protect him. The Sun family. In the living room of the house, Hayuga Setsuna sat cross-legged on the tatami, constantly sensing the door in her body. As he carefully felt the flow and direction of the chakra in his body, Hinata Setsuna also figured out the position of the eight doors in his body. It starts from the two doors at the head and spreads all the way down, passing through the chest, abdomen, and finally back to the heart of the eighth door. Hayuga Setsuna began to try to mobilize chakra and rushed towards the first door at the head, bang. With the impact of chakra, Hinata Setsuna felt his eyes go dark, and almost passed out, accompanied by bursts of severe pain from his brain. Fortunately, his physique played a role at this moment, otherwise he just ordered to pass out directly and not wake up for a few days. At this time, the first door in his body finally shattered open. Crack. A slight crackling sound began to sound. And the chakra that was originally flowing calmly in his body began to boil like magma in a volcano, flowing and rushing around his body like a raging ocean wave. The light blue chakra began to emerge from his body, and he couldn't restrain it at all. Chakra kept pouring out of Hinata Setsuna's body, as if forming a chakra coat. 
In the house, as chakra continued to emerge, all the daily items in the house were blown by the wind and fell to the ground, and some were even broken. With a sinking mind, slowly feeling the majestic power in his body, Hinata Setsuna's eyes suddenly flashed a touch of joy. He could feel that with the opening of the first door of the eight doors Dungia, his body and white eyes that were slowly transforming suddenly accelerated to the immortal body and reincarnated eyes. Just opening the first door has such a harvest, and the doors after that. Thinking of this, Hayuga Setsuna's eyes flashed with excitement, and the veins in his eyes began to bulge. White eyes, open. Although he has already figured out the location of the eight doors, the experience of almost fainting before is still vivid in his memory. So he still cautiously opened his white eyes to see the position of the eight doors in his body. Found it. With the determination of the specific positions of the second and third gates, Hayuga Setsuna began to mobilize the majestic chakra in his body to charge towards the Shu Gate and Sheng Gate, without hesitation. That's right, this time he's going to break open two doors in one go. Boom. The slight cracking sound of, click, click, in Hinata Setsuna's body sounded again. An even more astonishing chakra reaction than before rose from Hinata Setsuna's body, and the light blue chakra coat began to gradually progress towards dark blue. Even this strong chakra began to gradually spread out of the house, but Hayuga Setsuna, who was in a state of excitement, didn't notice it. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya communicated with the outside world and directly blocked the room where Setsuna Hayuga was located, forming a small blocking barrier to effectively control the leakage of chakra. This bad boy is a bit reckless today, but fortunately he has a concubine. In the outside world, as Hinata Setsuna's body broke open two doors one after another, blood vessels on his body surface began to rupture, Blood splashed out from them, and the bright red blood in his eyes also slowly flowed out from them. However, these injuries quickly began to heal quickly under his physique, and even the blood just burst, and it was healed before it had time to drip. Hinata Setsuna's whole mind was immersed in the changes in his body, and he could feel that besides the increase of chakra, his physique and tensegan were also undergoing rapid metamorphosis. Looking at the dark blue chakra coat surrounding him, Hinata Setsuna restrained his mind and began to slowly control and calm the large amount of chakra in his body. Hayuga Setsuna sat cross-legged on the tatami, this time he gained more from practicing Baman Dunjia than he expected. The amount of chakra in the body is also several times higher than before. If it was only the amount of two kakashis before, it is now the amount of chakras of seven or eight kakashis. His physique has changed again. Now as long as the injury is not too fatal, his body can heal quickly. In the case of Tensagen, after opening the two doors located in the brain, the open door and shut door, something seems to have changed. But Hinata Setsuna could feel the good side of this change. As for the opening of the third life gate, it was more of a physical change, but the reincarnation eyes in both eyes did not move much. And most importantly, his Baman Dungia is different from other people's Baman Dungia. If it is said that other people opened the Baman Dungia as a brilliant comet, then his Baman Dungia is a permanent star in the starry sky. Ordinary human beings can gain powerful explosive power after opening the eight door Dungia, but at the same time, they will also cause great damage to the meridians in their bodies. But Setsuna Hayuga is different from ordinary humans. His physique has already undergone a metamorphosis after merging with Itsuki Kegaya's chakra, and now his physique is closer to that of the Itsuki clan. And I don't know if it's due to the difference in his physique, but now the three open doors in his body have been opened permanently. The chakra that came out with the opening of the door is now permanently staying in his body. If it was an ordinary person, the meridians in their body would not be able to bear it, but Hayuga Setsuna's physique and meridians could perfectly withstand these huge chakras. In this way, it seems that the Hachiman Dungia was tailor-made for Hinata Setsuna. The current Hinata Setsuna is different from him before, his current state is equivalent to permanently opening the three doors. The chakra coat wrapped around his body began to dissipate slowly with Hinata Setsuna's control, and the chakra that leaked outside the house also began to slowly disappear. At this time, Hayuga Setsuna also noticed the chakras who were locked in the house. Looking at the small ceiling barrier outside the house, Hayuga Setsuna said with a happy smile on his face. Thank you, Grandma. 
HMPH. Otsutsuki Kegaya just snorted arrogantly to express his emotions for the gratitude of the bad boy Hinata Setsuna. Hearing the tsunere, hum, sound in his ears, Hinata Setsuna also knew that he was indeed a little reckless this time. If Otsutsuki Kegaya hadn't helped to set up a small blocking barrier just now, then he would probably have many people here now. Anbi, Nei, Hayuga, Serutobi Hirazan and other high-level executives may have come here immediately if they felt the huge chakra he had just now. At that time, he really has to expose his whole cards, and if he reveals his whole cards, he will be discovered by the Sage of the Six Paths. At that time, everything will really be over. Feeling the emotions constantly coming from Otsutsuki Kegaya Haim, Hinata Satsuka put a gentle smile on his lips. Fortunately, all of these were stopped by Kegaya Otsutsuki before they were discovered. So Otsutsuki Kegaya Haim is really the best and best grandmother in the world. Hayuga Setsuna slowly got up from the bed, yawning with tears in the corners of his eyes. Last night, in order to comfort Kegaya Otsutsuki, he took the initiative to enter the restricted space to act cute and coquettish, and finally he was released as a pillow for a while. But last night, although it was said to be comforting, Hinata Setsuna was actually going to accompany him. After all, Kegaya Otsutsuki experienced thousands of years of darkness and loneliness after she was sealed away by her two children. After finally escaping from the seal, the soul was sealed again in Hinata Setsuna's body, which was simply bad luck. So, for Hinata Setsuna yesterday's comfort or companionship, he must have enjoyed it too. Occasionally, I also want to accompany the empty nester Kegaya Otsutsuki. After washing, Hinata Setsuna came to the courtyard and looked at the Hokage rock and the vast blue sky in the distance with his eyes, and couldn't help but feel deeply in his heart. Since coming to this world through time travel, he was once in despair until the appearance of Itsuki Kegaya Haim gave him a glimmer of hope. Now he feels the majestic power in his body, and he can't help but lament the impermanence of the world. Who would have thought that a child separated from Hayuga could have such power? The world is so unreal, yet full of miraculous drama. Walk out of the house and come to the busy street with leaves. Today is the leisure period after the mission is over, and the time for the next mission has not arrived, so let's just stroll around Muya village casually today. In the five years since he traveled here, it seems that he has been training himself desperately, and he has never visited the village once. Walking on the busy street, Hayuga Setsuna had a sunny smile on his face. The people on the side only thought that this child from the Hayuga family was so handsome and delicate. Looking at the enthusiastic smiles on the faces of the people on the street, the ninjas passing by on missions were also full of fighting spirit. After all, what they were desperately protecting was the happiness of the people in the village. Hinata Setsuna came to a shop where he usually bought breakfast, and said to the uncle who was busy preparing breakfast in the shop. Uncle Kishimoto, have a tamago yaki and natto bibimbap. In the breakfast shop, Uncle Kishimoto, who was preparing breakfast, said with a smile on his face. Isn't this Mr. Setsuna, I haven't seen you here for breakfast for a long time. Ha ha, because I've been busy with things recently. Hayuga Setsuna casually found a place in the shop and replied with a smile. Uncle Kishimoto grinned and said. Well, I heard that Setsuna-kun, you graduated ahead of schedule, you are really outstanding. If only my future children are as excellent as you. Ha ha, don't worry, Uncle Kishimoto, your future children will definitely be excellent. That's right, then I will borrow your blessing from Setsuna-kun. After finishing speaking, Uncle Kishimoto brought the large portion of tamagoyaki and natto bibimbap that had been prepared to Hinata Setsuna's table. Looking at the obviously increased amount of tamagoyaki and natto bibimbap on the table, Hayuga Setsuke said in surprise. Uncle Kishimoto, you put too much earlier. Mr. Setsuna, I specially increased the amount for you. After all, only when you are full can you have the strength to complete tasks and practice training. Looking at Uncle Kishimoto who said to himself with a thumbs up in front of him, Hinata Setsuna accepted it with a helpless smile on his face. Eating tamago yaki and natto bibimbap, Hinata Setsuna looked at Uncle Kishimoto who was cooking breakfast enthusiastically. In fact, when he had just transmigrated, when he came here for breakfast and heard the uncle in front of him called Kishimoto, he thought that the real Kishimoto had transmigrated. 
Later, after his verification, it was confirmed that it was just the same name, not the same person. As for the neighbors of Uncle Kishimoto, I heard that they are all called Oda, Nasu, and Yorobuchi. At that time, Hinata Setsuna, who had just traveled through time, was taken aback for a while, but knowing the names of these people was amazing. After a while, Hinata Setsuna got up after finishing breakfast and came to Uncle Kishimoto, and said with a smile after paying the bill. Uncle Kishimoto, thank you for your breakfast, I'm leaving too. After finishing speaking, Hayuga turned around and walked out of the street in an instant. Uncle Kishimoto in the shop looked at Hinata's leaving figure in an instant, and said to an uncle in the shop next to him. Oda, I have a hunch that Setsuna will become a great ninja in the future, and even change the era of ninjas. Do you really believe in your own eyes? Kishimoto. Kishimoto-san, who was concentrating on making breakfast in the shop, said proudly with a smile on his face. Trust my Kishimoto eyes. I'm absolutely right. At this time, Setsuna Hayuga was walking on the other side of the street, and didn't hear the conversation between Uncle Kishimoto and Oda. If he heard it, he wouldn't know whether to laugh or cry. Setsuna Hayuga was walking slowly along the street when a figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Looking at the iconic melon-like face and the Yamato Nautico-like temperament in front of him, the smooth black hair floating behind, and the enchanting fiery devil figure. Hinata Setsuna already knew who the figure in front of him was. His gaze began to move down slowly and voluntarily. What came into view was, big. Big. It was covered by Anbu's loose robe before, so he didn't notice that it is now a daily dress. At first glance, it gives people the feeling of, big, and when I think of her being so, big, at the age of 12, it's just. Yugong Bayu naturally noticed the position of the Jungtai's eyes on her body, and she had no choice but to grow up so big. She also felt that this thing was in the way when she was performing the task, but who made her seem to be well developed at ordinary times, it can only be said that this is God's arrangement. Soon, Setsuna Hinata forced himself to look away, not because he didn't want to look more, but because the emotion from Otsutsuki Kegaya in the confined space was really terrifying. Hinata Setsuna felt that if he was watching, the first thing Otsutsuki Kegaya would do when he came out of the seal was to kill Yugong Bayu. Good morning Captain Bayu. Seeing Hinata Setsuna who finally looked away, Moonlight Bayu said with an indifferent expression. I'm here to inform you that tomorrow I will report to Anbu that there is a task for, you, to perform. As soon as the voice fell, Hinata instantly captured the important factor, you equals yourself equals yourself alone. Hinata Setsuna asked with a puzzled look on his face. Captain Bayu, did I hear correctly? I'm alone. What about you, Captain? The mission I received was to let you go alone. As for me, the three generations of adults have already sent me other missions. This is confidential and cannot be told to you. After all, Yugong Bayu didn't wait for Hinata to react in an instant, and directly cast the instant body technique and disappeared. On the spot, Hayuga Setsuna frowned slightly and said in a low voice. A mission for me to perform alone. The next morning. After Hayuga Setsuna finished his breakfast, he got up and rushed towards Anbi's base. After receiving Yugong Bayu's mission notice yesterday, Hinata Setsu has been thinking about it. Since he is now directly under Hokage's Anbu, then this task is likely to be in order from Serutobi Hirazan himself. It's just why Serutobi Hirazan let him carry out the mission alone. Could it be that the last mission caused suspicion or something else? After a while, Hinata Setsu, with a rabbit face mask on his face, had arrived at Anbi's base. Walking into the dark Anbu passage, I came to a pre-arranged house waiting for the arrival of the moonlight and white moon. Clap. While Hayuga was waiting for a moment, there was a sound of footsteps outside the house. Then the wooden door was also pushed open, and Hinata Setsuna looked at the face under the mask with a surprised expression. Kakashi. Yes, it was Kakashi who pushed the door outside the house and entered. Although he had a dog face mask on his face, Kakashi managed to make Hinata Setsuna recognize him with his white hair that showed a sense of presence. Kakashi, who walked into the room, was also stunned when he heard Hinata Setsuna's familiar voice. After a while, he spoke slowly with uncertainty in his words. Moment. Hinata Setsuna looked at Kakashi who was standing by the door in a daze and said. Kakashi, 
Why are you here? Isn't it because someone informed you to come here to accept the mission? Kakashi who walked into the room, his expression under the dog face mask also became weird at this moment. Setsuna, you also came here after receiving the mission notice. Hearing Kakashi's rhetorical question, Hinata Setsuna has already confirmed that Kakashi should be going on a mission with him. It's just that Yugong Bayu said yesterday that I was alone in this task, why did Kakashi come back? Could it be Serutobi Hiruzum's arrangement again? Serutobi Hiruzum, is this also in your calculation? Looking at Kakashi who was quietly sitting aside and not talking, Hinata asked Setsuna. Kakashi, what was the mission notice you received yesterday? After Kakashi on the side heard Hinata Setsuna's question, hesitation flickered in the eyes of the dead fish under the mask. But in the end he spoke slowly. The person who notified me yesterday said that I will complete this task by myself. After hearing Kakashi's words, Hinata Setsuya didn't speak for a moment but just sat aside quietly thinking. Kakashi looked at Setsuna Hayuga, who was sitting aside thinking, and he also quickly reacted at this time. The task of Setsuna Hayuga might be the same as the one he wanted to perform. Kakashi is not stupid, otherwise he would not become the, sixth Hokage, after Tsunade. It's just that Kakashi, who is still young, doesn't have much experience, and Hinata Setsuna, who has the memory of two lives, naturally reacted before Kakashi. At this moment, the door inside the house was opened again, Hayuga Setsuna and Kakashi looked up at the same time. That's right, it was Moonlight Bayou who came in at this time. She wears a fox face mask on her face, covering his beautiful face and temperament. The wide anbu clothes also covered his overgrown figure. Seeing the moonlight Shiratsuki walking into the house, Hinata Setsuna said softly. Captain Bayou, it seems that today's task is not carried out by me alone. Hearing the tone of the little ghost in front of him, the moonlight Bayou under the mask knew that the little brat was waiting for him to explain the situation in front of him. Although she herself didn't know why there was one more person here, all of these were orders from Hokage-sama, and as a member directly under Hokage Anbu, she only had to obey the orders. Yugon Bayou, who was wearing a fox face mask, said indifferently. This is the arrangement of the third generation of adults. Now I am just ordered to come and take you to meet the third generation of Hokage-sama. After finishing speaking, she turned around and walked out with her slender long legs. After the two people in the room looked at each other, they also followed in a daze. To be precise, Kakashi was a little confused, but Hinata Setsuke was not, after all, he had expected it a little earlier. In front of the Hokage building, Moonlight Hakuzuki led Setsuna Hinata and Kakashi to Hokage's office after passing the inspection of the building guards. Moonlight Bayou raised her hand and knocked lightly on the door. Dong 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 dong. Along with the knock on the door, there was a strong voice from inside the house. Come in. The three pushed open the wooden door and walked into Hokage's office. Moonlight Bayou looked at Serutobi Hiruzen who was sitting behind the desk not far away, and said with respect in his words. Three generations of adults, Bai and Bailong have already brought over. Serutobi Hiruzen who was sitting behind the desk put his hands together in front of his chest and said. Thanks for your hard work, Bai Yu, then go to perform the task. Yes, three generations of adults. When Yugong Bai Yu was about to leave, the eyes under the mask involuntarily looked at Setsuna Hayuga, and then disappeared into Hokage's office in a flash. With Yugong Bai Yu's departure, Hayuga Setsuna also looked at Serutobi Hiruzen, this was the second time they met. In Hinata Setsuna's eyes, Serutobi Hiruzen's expression seemed to reveal exhaustion and heaviness, but these emotions were finally concealed by the smile on his face. Hinata Setsuna looked at Serutobi Hiruzen at this time, thoughtful in his heart. Bearing the name of Hokage, do you take all the pain and sorrow within yourself? Hey, I really don't know what to say. At this time, Serutobi Hiruzen behind the desk also cast his eyes on Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi, and said with a kind smile on his face. Setsuna, Kakashi, I think you are also wondering what is going on with this mission. Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi both nodded, they were indeed very confused about this mission. Hiruzuru Serutobi picked up the pipe and put it to his mouth and took a slow puff, then said softly with an apologetic expression on his face. 
Originally this task was done by other people, but something went wrong due to some special reasons. So this mission has to be handed over to you to protect. Listening to Sarutobi Hirazan's words for Hinata Setsuna, he once again captured the important factor, special reason, protection. What kind of task should be entrusted to these two ninjas who just graduated from ninja school? Hinata Setsuna admits that he is a genius. But Hiruzuru Serutobi personally called them to explain this mission, which shows that this mission is very important. But such an important task, is it so easy to give it to us two kids who just graduated from ninja school and joined Anbu? Is it in the Ganges? At this moment, Kakashi on the side was already asking Hiruzuru Serutobi. So the third generation, when is the time for our mission? After listening to Kakashi's words, Hinata Setsuna looked at Kakashi with the eyes of a, fool. Was Kakashi so stubborn when he was a child? Why didn't he think about why such an important task was entrusted to us? Watching Kakashi seriously discussing the mission details with Hiruzuru Serutobi, Setsuna suddenly felt very tired. Kakashi, how on earth did you become the, sixth Hokage, in the future? In Hokage's office. Hiruzuru Serutobi picked up the pipe in his hand and put it to his mouth, took a deep puff, then said softly with a smile on his face. This mission is very important to both you and the village, Setsuna, Kakashi. Do you understand? Looking at Kakashi who was already determined to agree, Hinata Setsuna's expression under the rabbit face mask was full of helplessness. He looked at Hiruzuru Serutobi and asked aloud. Master three generations, may I ask who is the object of protection for this mission? Hiruzuru Serutobi behind the desk heard Hinata Setsuna's question, with hesitation and entanglement on his face, he finally shook his head and said. This task will be known when you go to perform it in a few days, and I can't tell you now. What you need to know is that this task is very important, and it is also very important to the village, do you understand? After hearing these words, Hinata Setsuna already understood what Hiruzuru Serutobi meant. Hiruzuru Serutobi can emphasize the mission that is very important to the village many times. I am afraid that it is related to the group of people in the country of fire. So the object of this mission should be the child of a nobleman or maybe a child of a daimyo. Of course, it is also possible that they are the nobles themselves, but the greater possibility is the child of the daimyo of the land of fire. As for the daimyo, it is impossible. If the protection object of this mission is the daimyo, it will not be Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi's turn to protect it. If it is assumed that the child of the fire country daimyo is the target of the task, it is no wonder that Serutobi Hiruzen is so entangled. In this way, if this task is completed, the fire country daimyo will also be very satisfied with Hiruzuru Serutobi, and even support Hiruzuru Serutobi in decision making in some places. So in this mission, Hiruzuru Serutobi and Daimyo of the Fire Nation must have made a deal to a certain extent, but they don't know the bargaining chips they both obtained. But I think it should be about Konoha Murakami's support. Although many thoughts flashed through his mind, on the surface, Setsuna Hinata still spoke with Kakashi. Understood, three generations of adults times two. After receiving the answers from the two, Hiruzuru Serutobi's serious expression eased, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. After Serutobi Hiraku took a sip of tea, he took another puff of cigarette happily, and then said with a smile. Now that you understand, go down and rest, the execution time of this mission is only a few days away. Yes times two. With the departure of Setsuna Hinata and Kakashi, the smile on Hiruzuru Serutobi's face gradually disappeared, and he came to the window. Looking at the bustling village at dusk and the statue on Hokage Rock, Hiruzuru Serutobi's eyes flashed a light called anticipation. On the bustling Konoha Street, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi had already taken off their masks. What made Hinata Setsuna dumbfounded was that after taking off the mask, Kakashi still had a mask on his face. Hinata Setsuna said with a hint of ridicule in his words. Kakashi, I really didn't expect you to still be wearing a mask after taking off the mask. After Kakashi on the side heard Hinata Setsu's teasing, his face under the mask was still very calm. Obviously during this period of time he has gotten used to being teased after taking off his mask. Although it was embarrassing for a while at first, after getting used to it, he can already ignore it. Seeing Kakashi's indifferent appearance, 
Hinata Setsuna also felt bored, after all Kakashi is obviously used to it now. So after saying goodbye to Kakashi, Setsuna Hinata also embarked on his way home. On the way home, Hinata Setsuna kept responding to everyone who greeted him. After all, his current appearance is indeed very cute. Looking at the sky at dusk, Hayuga Setsuna's eyes shone with a faint light, this mission should be very interesting. With his arrival, the future of the ninja world has undergone tremendous changes like a butterfly effect. Really, looking forward to the future. On the way home, Hayuga Setsuna accidentally saw two figures whom he hadn't seen for a long time. Looking at Kurenai Yuhi and Asma Serutobi who was following her, Hayuga Setsuna put a warm smile on his face and greeted them. Red, Asma, long time no see. Hearing this familiar voice, Yuhi Hong who was walking on the street was stunned, and then she looked towards Setsuna Hinata with a surprised expression on her face. And Serutobi Asma's expression changed instantly. Didn't this guy Hinata Setsuna graduate early, how could he still meet him? Asuma Serutobi is very proud recently, since Hinata Setsuna graduated from ninja school ahead of schedule, no one has bothered him to get along with Hong anymore. Although Hong still ignores him as before, Serutobi Asma firmly believes that he will impress Hong one day. After all, without Hinata Setsuna's interruption, he got along with Hong at the ninja school very close to the moon. At the moment when Yuhi Kin saw Hinata Setsuna, her red eyes lit up instantly, and she asked Hinata Setsuna happily. Sena-kun, it's been a long time no see. How are you doing recently? Hearing Kurenai Yuhi's concern, Hinata Setsuna said with a smile on her face. I've been doing well recently, how about you, how is it at ninja school? Yuhi smiled and said to Hinata Setsuna with a blush on her face. It's still the same as before, it's just that I'm a little uncomfortable when you're not here, Setsuna-kun. Really. But as a ninja, you have to adapt to everything, Hong, you have to work hard. Hinata Setsuna said with a gentle smile on his face. Hinata Setsuna asked Yuhi Hong with a curious look. What happened to Obito and Rin? Red. After all, Kakashi is not in the class anymore, I don't know if Obito has expressed his feelings to Lin. Hinata Setsuna felt that the idiot Obito probably wouldn't do it, and might even screw it up. Yuha Hong seemed to recall something, and said with a happy smile on her face. For Lin, she was a little unhappy after Kakashi graduated, Obito-kun has caused a lot of trouble recently to make Lin happy. After getting the answer from Kurenai Yuhi's words, Hinata Setsuna's face really looked like this. After all, he had known the complicated relationship between Obito, Rin, and Kakashi for a long time. Hinata Setsuna turned his gaze to Serutobi Asma, who had a bitter face, and asked with a deep smile on his face. Asma, we haven't seen each other for a long time, why are you so sad? Yeah, Asma, don't keep looking sour, no one will like it. On the side, Yuhi Hong also looked at Serutobi Asma with a bitter face, with dissatisfaction on his face, and stabbed his heart hard. After hearing Kurenai Yuhi's words, Asuma Serutobi pulled the corner of his mouth and made a not-so-ugly smile. Seeing Serutobi Asma like this, Hinata Setsuna naturally knew why, but what Kurenai Yuhi didn't like him could do. Finally, Hinata Setsuna pondered for a while, and said to the two with a warm smile on his face. How about this, I invite you to eat barbecue. It just happened that I got some rewards for doing tasks recently. After hearing Hinata Setsuna's words, Yuhi Hong said with embarrassment on her face. How can this work? Setsuna-kun, you have just completed the task yourself, and you have to buy some necessities for the reward. Wouldn't it be too good to treat guests? Although Kurenai Yuhi wanted to get along with Setsuna Hayuga for a longer time, she also had to think about Setsuna Hinata's daily life. Hearing Yuhi Hong's words, Hinata Setsuna said in a tone that could not be refused. Hong, don't worry, the rewards for the tasks I complete are very high. Even if I treat you to barbecue, it won't cost too much. After finishing speaking, Hinata immediately took Kurenai Yuhi's hand and walked towards the barbecue restaurant, letting Serutobi Asma follow him as he walked. And when Yuhi Hong was held back by Hinata Setsuna, her whole body was in a cute state, and her face was even more red. 
As for Sarutobi Asuma who was behind him watching the two walking hand in hand with a sore face, he silently looked at the sky in the dusk, with tears of grief streaming from his eyes. Time passed, and it was already a few days later. Several days have passed since the meeting with Kurinai Yuhi and Asma Sarutobi. In the early morning of this morning, Hayuga Setsuna was wearing Anbu's attire and a rabbit face mask on his face, and came to Anbi's base early to wait. Soon, after waiting at the Anbu base for a while, Kakashi with a dog face mask on his face and an Anbu member with a bird face mask walked over. Looking at Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi who were already there. Anbu personnel wearing bird face masks began to introduce the mission information to them. After listening to the detailed description of this mission, Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi were both stunned. It turned out that the special mission this time was that His Royal Highness Akashino Miyuri, the daughter of the Fire Country Daimyo, wanted to see the power of ninjas, so the Daimyo released this mission to Konoha village in order to satisfy his daughter's wish. Besides, since this special mission is to fulfill the wish of His Royal Highness, Aki Shino Miyuri, it is natural to find a ninja who is the same age as her. It's impossible to find those elderly ninjas, not to mention that they need to perform some important tasks, but their age is too far behind that His Highness. So after this task was communicated to Konoha, Hiruzuru Serutobi had already planned to let Setsuna Hinata and Kakashi carry it out. Because the strength of both of them has been recognized and joined Anbu, and the age of both of them is about the same as His Royal Highness, Akashino Miyuri. Of course, the most important thing is that Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi are both good-looking, even a little handsome, so I just need to make that highness happy. Then the follow-up daimyo's attitude and support towards Konoha village will become much simpler. The task of the two of them is not only to let His Royal Highness, Aki Shino Miyuri, see the power of the ninja, but also to protect her personal safety. Then that's the mission for this time. After the two of you arrive at the capital, someone will come to receive you. After talking about the specific task, Anbu, wearing a bird face mask, turned and left. On the spot, Hayuga frowned slightly under Setsuna's mask. Although he had guessed before that it would be a task of protecting the daimyo's children, he did not expect that he would be a companion and playmate for his royal highness, Akashino Miyuri, in the past. Such a task is really a bit boring, it is better to practice. On the other hand, Kakashi's demeanor became cold after listening to this task. Obviously, he also felt that this task was a waste of time. With this time, he might as well ask his father to teach him the practice of sword skills. Afterwards, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi were not wasting time anymore, and they set off for the capital of the Kingdom of Fire. The other side. The capital of the Fire King. In the backyard of an elegant palace, walk slowly through the Vermilion Torii, and you can see a gorgeous shrine. Inside the shrine, a seven or eight year old girl with exquisite facial features was struggling to take off the complicated and graceful court attire, and put on her own favorite attire. Muscle undergarment, white clothes, scarlet hakama, corset, foot bag. Finally, she wrapped her long black and beautiful hair with white sandalwood paper, and then tied it slowly with twine. The girl slowly got up and came to the mirror to look at herself in the mirror, with a sweet smile on her face, obviously very happy and satisfied with her current attire. If Setsuna Hayuga appeared here at this time, he would definitely recognize that the girl was wearing the very distinctive, priestess costume, from the previous Japan, and it was still red and white. And after the girl put on this old-fashioned priestess costume, she looked extremely cute, with a picturesque look on her face. The girl's own facial features are extremely delicate. Although she is a little younger, she has an excellent figure, and her skin is even more delicate and white. At this moment, the gate of the shrine was opened and a maid walked in slowly. Seeing that His Highness, who is usually favored by Daimyo, secretly changed into this Miko costume by himself, the maid said with a helpless expression on her face. Your Highness, why did you secretly change it yourself again? You can just order these trivial matters and let his servants do it. At the same time, the maid hurriedly picked up a clean towel from the table beside her, and wiped away the fine sweat left on the girl's forehead by changing clothes. Looking at the maid who wiped it for herself, the girl said softly with a gentle smile on her face. It's okay, I can solve these small things by myself, don't bother you. Her voice is like a sweet waxy seed, very touching. 
Seeing that the maid seemed to be about to refute again, the girl quickly changed the subject. Have the Konoha ninjas arranged by father arrived? I can't wait to see them. The maid gently put down the towel for wiping, and said softly after arranging the girl's slightly messy hair. Your Highness Yuri, Konoha's ninjas should be arriving soon, please wait patiently. After getting the answer, Akashino Mia Yuri's eyes lit up with anticipation. She wanted to meet those ninjas very much. She had a lot of questions to ask the ninjas. At this time, on the way to the capital of the King of Fire. Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi kept moving at a high speed. Kakashi, who was wearing a dog face mask, said suddenly, with a muffled tone in his voice. Setsuna, you said we have arrived at the capital, how should we show the power of a ninja to his highness? After hearing what Kakashi said, Setsuna Hayuga did not answer his question, but corrected it. White Wolf, you should call me Captain Bai now, not Setsuna. Yes, before setting out to perform the mission, the Anbu with the bird face mask on his face announced that this mission will be led by Hinata Setsuna. Kakashi, who is walking on the side, rolled his eyes under the mask after hearing these words, and his face was extremely helpless, so he could only repeat. Captain 8, how can we show His Royal Highness the power of ninjas when we arrive at the capital? Hinata Setsuna also said aloud after hearing that Kakashi finally corrected his address. Well, how to show it depends on what His Highness wants us to do. We can only do our best. As soon as the words fell, a bustling city appeared at the end of the distant forest. Looking at the city not far away, Hayuga Setsuna said softly. It's finally here, White Wolf, let's move forward quickly, it will be easier for us to carry out the mission if we arrive at the capital earlier. After all, Hinata set his speed up again and headed towards the capital. Kakashi on the side was about to continue asking questions, but after looking at the royal capital not far away, he could only follow. Soon, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi went through the final journey, and the two had already arrived at the capital of the Kingdom of Fire. Looking at the prosperous royal capital in front of him, Setsuna Hayuga had to admit that the royal capital of Fire Country is indeed much better than Konoha Village, and it is more suitable for residents to live in. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya also saw the bustling and bustling capital in front of her through Hinata Setsuna's eyes, and said softly with memories and sadness in her eyes. This place, in the long past, was the place where my concubine built a palace. I didn't expect that after a thousand years, it has become like this. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's sad words in her ear, Hinata Setsuma looked at the bustling and bustling capital and comforted her softly. Don't worry grandma, everything will come back, I will help you. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya with a sad expression heard Hinata Setsuna's comfort to her, and a look of relief flashed in his eyes. Otsutsuki Kegaya looked at the boundless sky of Ninja World with determination in his eyes and muttered to himself. Hamura, Yuya, and my concubine already have a new child. I don't need you anymore. Outside World. Hinata Setsuna looked at the prosperous capital. The streets were filled with people coming and going, and everyone's faces were filled with happy smiles. Obviously, the Second Ninja World War has just ended not long ago. But the capital is as peaceful as a piece of pure land, and everything here seems not to have been affected by the war outside. The so-called peace is only obtained temporarily through war. When they have enough self-cultivation, they will start the next war again. Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi came to a house according to the intelligence description on the mission scroll. After seeing the attires of the two, the officials who had been waiting in the room immediately said to Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi with happy smiles on their faces. The two of you are finally here, and I will take you to meet the daimyo first. After finishing speaking, he respectfully led the two of them towards the daiming mansion in the capital, introducing the situation in the capital as he walked. After arriving at the daimyo mansion, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi waited outside the door first, and then the official went to report to Lord Daimyo. Soon the two were received by Kensuke Akashino, the daimyo of the Fire Country. Walking into the daimyo mansion, I looked at Kensuke Akashinomiya who was sitting in the upper seat. His appearance was very kind and kind, just like an ordinary middle-aged fat man. Wearing luxurious clothes exclusive to the daimyo, there is an arrogance that belongs to the nobility in every gesture. 
But after seeing Setsuna Hanada and Kakashi, the arrogance of the aristocrats in him subsided instead. Akinomiya Kensuke said to the two of them with a kind face. The two must be the ninjas sent by Muya village. This time, because of the little girl, I will trouble the two of you. Looking at the daimyo Akashomiya Kensuke who spoke to the two of them kindly in front of him. Hanada Setsuna and Kakashi looked at each other, and finally Hanada Setsuna spoke. Please don't be so polite, my lord, this task is our duty. Akinomiya Kensuke looked at Hanada Setsuna with a rabbit face mask and Kakashi with a dog face mask in front of him, and didn't despise them because of their young age. Then Yuri's safety will be entrusted to the two, please protect the little girl more recently. Daimyo-sama, please leave it to us x2. After getting the answers from the two, Kensuke Akinomiya was also relieved. He summoned his servants to take Hanada Setsuna and Kakashi down, but as if recalling something, he hurriedly called them back with an anxious expression. Akinomiya Kensuke looked at the two people in front of him with doubts, and said with a wry smile on his face. If Yuri asks you any strange questions, please don't pay attention. Because Yuri is relatively young, she likes to fantasize and ask some weird questions. If she asks you two strange questions, please don't pay attention to them. Hearing Kensuke Akinomiya's words, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed suspicious. Like to ask strange questions, like to fantasize, and more protective lately. Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi, who sensed important factors from Akashinomiya Kensuke's words, looked at each other quietly. There is a problem with this task. It is easy to understand the phrase, more protection recently, which means that recently someone will be unfavorable to His Royal Highness Akinomiya Yuri. But what about a fondness for asking strange questions and a fondness for fantasies? Aki Shinomiya Kensuke looked at the two people who were puzzled in front of him, with a wry smile on his face, he didn't say anything more, but called the servants to let them take Hanada Setsuna and Kakashi down. In the palace, after Setsuna Hanada and Kakashi left, Kensuke Akinomiya sat on the main seat in a daze, not knowing what he was thinking. In the end, he just sighed slowly and left. The two followed a servant and walked in the daming mansion. After glancing at the servant, Kakashi quietly lowered his voice and said to Setsuna Hanada. Bai, there is a problem with this mission. Hanada Setsuna, who was thinking about what Kensuke Akashinomiya said just now, after hearing Kakashi's words, just shook his head slightly to signal Kakashi that he should stop talking. After all, there is a servant leading the way ahead. Kakashi looked at Hanada Setsuna who was shaking his head and understood what he meant, and then he didn't talk anymore, just followed behind quietly. But Kakashi's eyes are recording the walking route of the daimyo mansion everywhere. Soon Hayuga Setsuna and Kakashi were led by their servants to the backyard of a magnificent palace. Looking at the small Torii gate in front of him and the shrine behind him, Hanada Setsuna's eyes flashed full of surprise and incomprehension. The face under Kakashi's mask also frowned. Looking at the Torii in front of him, he asked the servant on the side. Which His Highness lives in this shrine? The servant turned to look at Kakashi and said respectfully. Yes, His Highness is in this shrine now. After hearing the servant's words, Hanada Setsuna looked at the Torii and shrine in front of him and fell into memory. Does Fire Country have a shrine in the original book? Or in the Daming Mansion? He clearly remembered that Naruto world should have a Mikoshian related to monsters in the ghost country, and the other words should not have appeared. Why do shrines appear in Daimyo Prefecture? Is it the butterfly effect caused by my arrival? Following behind the servant through the Vermilion Torii gate and up the slightly new steps, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi came to a gorgeous shrine. Looking at the gorgeous shrine in front of him, Hinata Setsuna's brows under the rabbit face mask also frowned fiercely. This shrine has no name. Yes, the name of the shrine is not written on it, only a vermilion board is placed on it. After the servant brought the two of them, he had already gone back. After looking at each other with Kakashi, Hinata Setsuna came to the door of the shrine and slowly pushed it away. And as the door was pushed open, the appearance of the shrine was also revealed in front of the two of them. The object of entry is a red and white figure. Looking at the red and white figure in the priestess costume in the outer hall of the shrine, Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi were stunned. This is Her Royal Highness. Hinata Setsuna looked at the figure in the outer hall of the shrine with a strange look in his eyes. 
The red and white priestess costume, coupled with the obviously immature figure of the other party, gave him a very special sense of sight. And in the outer hall of the shrine, Yuri Akashinomiya noticed it when Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi pushed the door and entered. When she saw the outfits on the two of them, there seemed to be a flash of light in her eyes, but after noticing the height and shape of the two of them, her eyes flashed with disappointment. And the maid who was kneeling beside Chu Shaogong Yuri and serving them said with surprise in her eyes after seeing the two of them. Your Highness, the two ninjas sent by Muya Village are here. Akashinomiya Yuri got up from the outer hall of the shrine and tidied up the red and white priestess attire, then came to the two of them and said in an apologetic tone. I'm Yuri Akashinomiya, and I'm really sorry that the two of you came here from Konoha because of my own wishes. Hearing the apology from His Highness in front of him, Kakashi wanted to ask Setsuna Hanada, who is the captain of this mission, to answer. But when Kakashi looked at Setsuna Hanada, he found that this guy was actually distracted at this time. Or is this guy in a daze? Faced with such a situation, Kakashi had no choice but to reply aloud. Please don't feel sorry for us, it is our ninja duty to accept the mission and complete it. At this time, Hinata Setsuna who was on the side also came back to his senses at this time, looking at Kakashi who was talking with Akashomiya Yuri. He didn't make a sound, but quietly observed Akashino Gong Yuri in front of him. About seven or eight years old, with a slightly immature appearance, snowy and fair skin, moist eyes, a head of black and smooth long hair scattered behind her back very naturally, matched with her delicate facial features, in the eyes of Setsuna Hayuga she is a beautiful girl with a promising future. At this time, Akashino Miya Yuri, who was talking with Kakashi, seemed to have noticed something, and his moist eyes quietly turned back to meet Hinata Setsuna's gaze. Looking at Akashinomiya Yuri who noticed her gaze, Hinata Setsuna nodded to her pretending to be nonchalant. And Akashinomiya Yuri was also taken aback when he nodded to Hinata Setsu, and then returned a sweet smile. Looking at Akashinomiya Yuri who turned around, Hinata Setsuna frowned slightly under the rabbit face mask. This His Highness obviously does not have chakra under his observation, but why did he notice his sight just now? You must know that with his current strength, if he quietly observes an ordinary person without chakra, she will never find out. But when Yuri Akashino just turned her head back, it was as if someone suddenly reminded her in her ear. Just when Hinata Setsuna was thinking, Kakashi and Akinomiya Yuri also finished talking. Kakashi came to Hinata Setsuna and said to him, Captain Bai, His Royal Highness Yuri, let us go down and rest first. Hearing Kakashi's words, Hinata Setsuna also nodded and then said to Akinomiya Yuri. Then, your highness, we will go down first. After all, Hayuga Setsuna and Kakashi thought about walking outside the shrine. Outside the gate of the shrine, Hinata Setsuna looked back quietly when leaving. He always felt that this shrine was very strange. Not only did it not have the names of the gods enshrined, but it didn't even have the statues that should be enshrined in normal shrines. And the strange turn of the head of His Royal Highness Akashinomiya Yuri just now is also the same. This mission, in the shrine, the maid looked at Setsuna Hanada and Kakashi who were leaving, and said to Yuri Akashinomiya with a strange tone in her words. Your Highness, why didn't you let those two ninjas from Konoha show you the power of a ninja? And didn't you always want to ask these ninjas a lot of questions before they came? You didn't ask them today either. Standing under the cherry tree in the outer hall of the shrine, Yuri Akashinomiya listened to the maid's words, with a troubled look on her delicate face. But my question is to ask those ninjas who have grown up, but I didn't expect that my father and Muya village would actually send ninjas who are about my age or even younger than me. After all, Akashinomiya Yuri's delicate face began to become puffy, looking extraordinarily cute. Looking at His Royal Highness Akashinomiya Yuri, who was losing his temper at this time, the maid's face also showed a dumbfounding expression. Obviously, your highness, you are still a child, why do you always want to ask those adult ninjas? At this moment, Akashino Gong Yuri's upright face suddenly became pleasantly surprised, and said to the maid beside him. You go down first, I'm here alone. There is a tone in the words that does not allow others to question. After hearing the words of Chu Shinomiya Yuri, the maid obeyed her words and retreated from the shrine after hesitating for a while. Forget it, his highness has always been like this these past few years, so let's just listen to his highness. 
At this time, the outside sky was gradually covered by a layer of twilight. Daming House. Hayuga Setsuna House. Kakashi looked at Hinata Setsuna who was sitting cross-legged on the bed and said softly. Captain 8, there is a big problem with this mission. Hinata Setsuna, who was sitting cross-legged on the bed, said after listening to Kakashi's words. During this mission, there is something wrong with that highness. What's wrong with that highness? She's just an ordinary person without chakra. Under the mask of Kakashi's dog face, he said with a strange expression on his face. After all, there was no chakra reaction on his highness under his observation. He is completely an ordinary person. Not a ninja at all. Hinata Setsuna took off the rabbit face mask on his face, looked at Kakashi with both eyes, and said with a suspicious tone in his words. Just because she's an ordinary person without chakra, it's strange. I watched her quietly when you were talking to her just now, and she can actually detect my gaze. This is very wrong. As a person who doesn't even have chakra, don't you find it strange that you can detect my gaze? Kakashi also fell silent after hearing these words, and the current situation really proved the strangeness of this mission. After half a sound, Hinata Setsuna said softly. You go back and rest first, we don't need to do anything next, let's see when his highness will come to see us next. Kakashi who heard these words also nodded and did not refute. After all, Hinata Setsuna is the captain of this mission. Kakashi got up and walked out of the house, following Kakashi's departure. Hinata Setsuna also calmed down and asked Otsutsuki Kegaya in the forbidden space. Grandma, did you find anything strange in that shrine just now? In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegaya pondered for a while, then explained with a strange tone in his words. That human girl is accompanied by a soul body. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya groaned for a while, then explained with a strange and surprised tone in his words. Beside that human girl is a soul body. Indeed, even Otsutsuki Kegaya had never seen a soul able to stay in the world of strangers thousands of years ago. And when Hinata Setsuna heard these words, disbelief flashed in his eyes. After all, the answer is really scary. And how is this possible? Shouldn't people's souls go to the pure land and yellow spring after death? And there should be no ninjutsu in this world that can stagnate the soul of a person after death in the world of the living. Even the filthy soil reincarnation technique developed by Chincho Fajian only randomly chooses to retrieve the souls in the pure land world, and they still rely on the filthy soil reincarnated body to walk in the world of the living. It is impossible to let the soul stay in the world of strangers. What the hell is going on with that highness, and why is there a soul following her? I thought this task would be easy, but I didn't expect him to encounter such a thing. He has only been on two missions in total. The first time he met someone from the cult of the evil gods. The second time was even more outrageous. He actually encountered a soul who did not go to the pure land but stayed in the world of strangers. Hayuga Setsuna slowly let out a breath and said with a complex expression. Grandma, is there any way for me to see that soul? Yes, he had to find a way to see the soul that stayed beside Akashino Gong Yuri, otherwise there would be uncontrollable factors in this mission. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya said after listening to Hinata Setsuna's words. As long as you open Tenseiyin, you will be able to see that soul body. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's words, Hinata Setsuna froze for a moment, then said with distress on his face. But grandma, my current Tenseiken hasn't evolved yet. Your reincarnated eyes that haven't successfully transformed can also see it now, and you don't need a complete transformation. Tenseiyin who has not successfully transformed can also see. Hinata Setsuna began to mobilize the chakra in his body in doubt. Twilight, open it. Accompanied by Hinata Setsuna's low voice. His white eyes began to fade away and gradually the sky blue dazzling light like stars began to appear in Hinata Setsuna's eyes. In the dimly lit room, a pair of eyes shining like stars slowly lit up in the room. Hinata Setsuna silently felt the Tenseiken in his eyes, although the core power inside it had not yet been conceived. But he could sense attraction and connection from the moon, calling him constantly, letting him go to the moon. Just when Hayuga Setsuna was gradually indulging in that call. Otsutsuki Kegaya in the confined space also felt the call and connection through Hinata Setsuna, 
and saw her face gradually becoming ugly with deep anger flashing in her eyes, saying. Hamura. The barren white land began to be replaced by a world of ice and snow. Bitter cold wind howled in the forbidden space. Huge snow-capped mountains stood like pillars reaching the sky in the world. Gorgeous palaces slowed down in the biting cold wind. It slowly crumbled and smashed into the dark river of the white ice field. Kagaya Otsutsuki floated above the world of ice and snow, wearing a white dress with black goblin patterns on her body, the terrifying chakra began to emerge from her body, and the closed nine guba samsara sharingan between her foreheads began to slowly open, exuding evil spirits, different light. And the softly radiant moon in the outside sky began to gradually dim. On the moon. In a strange space, a white-haired old man sat cross-legged in it. He had two horns on his head. He was wearing a white coat. There were six black jade-shaped patterns on his chest and a red swirl on his back. There are three rows of hooked jade patterns below. Otsutsuki Hamura, who was sitting cross-legged, had already been awakened by the fluctuations of the moon, and opened his slightly cloudy white eyes. Looking at the dim moon in front of him and the huge Tensagon within the Itsuki family, Otsutsuki Hamura slightly frowned. Mother. Then his eyes began to look towards the deepest part of the moon, which was an extremely dark space, without gravity, without air, only a deep blackness. And Otsutsuki Kagaya's body was sealed in the space formed by the Six Paths Earth Explosion Star. Otsutsuki Hamura looked at Itsuki Kagaya who was still firmly sealed in the sleeping place of the Six Paths Earthburst Star at this time, and slowly looked back, he lowered his head and said softly. Not mother. Then Otsutsuki Yumura's cloudy white eyes looked through the moon to the vast land of Ninja World, staring at the land that used to be his homeland and said. Mother, brother, Indra, Asura. After saying these words, Otsutsuki Yumura fell into a permanent deep sleep for the first time. As for the descendants of the outside world who were in chaos because of Tenseiyan's abnormal movement, he didn't really care. What he cared about was his mother and the moon as a seal. And the change in Tenseiyan was probably done by those in his descendants, right? At this time, it is in the shrine enshrining the giant Tenseiyan. Several gray-haired old men gathered together, looking at the huge Tenseiyan who had calmed down at this moment. Why did Tenseiyan suddenly change? Could it be that the group of people from the separated family sneaked in here, and they still don't give up? At this moment, a gray-haired old man looked at the other old men who were talking a lot and said. No matter what, we can take this opportunity to attack them with this Tensagon change. Regardless of whether they have anything to do with this Tensagon event or not, we must suppress the group of people who are separated. Their understanding and concept of the ancestors' last words are wrong. Ninja World the famous mansion of the Land of Fire. Inside the house, Hinata Setsuna also woke up from the inexplicable call and connection at this time, stroking Tensagon in his eyes with one hand. Recalling the call just now, Hayuga Setsuna's eyes flashed with deep heart palpitations. He just listened to it for a while, and was caught off guard and completely addicted to it. It felt like he didn't want to wake up again. In the forbidden space, the space that was originally replaced by the world of ice and snow turned back into a white barren land, and gorgeous palaces also appeared in groups again. Kagaya Otsutsuki, who was floating in the air, also slowly closed the nine Guyu Samsara Sharingan between her foreheads. Looking at Hinata Setsuna who had woken up from the outside world, her eyes flashed with joy and said. In an instant, you woke up. Looking at Hinata Setsuna who had woken up from the outside world, joy flashed in her eyes and she said with concern in her words. In an instant, you woke up. Otsutsuki Kagaya's caring words sounded in his ears, and Hinata Setsuna said with a warm smile on his face. Grandma, thank you just now. If it weren't for you, maybe I really wouldn't be able to wake up. If Otsutsuki Kagaya hadn't pulled him out of that call in time, maybe he really couldn't wake up. Hayuga Setsuna sat cross-legged on the bed and said while rubbing his head. Grandma, that call and connection just now came from the moon. When the calling and connection power just came, Hinata instantly realized that this power might be coming from the giant Tenseiyan on the moon. After all, in this timeline, the Otsutsuki branch on the moon has not yet sacrificed all the white eyes to create another Tenseiken. So the power that just contacted and called him should be the giant reincarnated eye in the enshrinement temple. 
In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya said after being silent for a while, the words echoed on the barren white land with an inexplicable meaning. It's Hamura. Hamura. Otsutsuki Hamura. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's answer, Hanada Setsuna's brows were furrowed together. Setsuna Hayuga began to slowly recall the things related to Otsutsuki Hamura in the original work. Otsutsuki Yumura is the younger brother of the Six Path Sage Itsuki Yoromo. Compared with the obvious sense of presence in the plot of the big Sutsuki Yoromo, as the younger brother, Otsutsuki Yumura, he does not have much sense of presence. Like a tool man. Except that in the end on the moon, in order to prevent Itsuki Tonoro from destroying the ninja world, he gave his own chakra to Hanada Hanada. He never showed up at other times. Judging from the strength of Otsutsuki Yumura, he should be in the same state as the six path sage Itsuki Yoromo. Only the body dies, not the soul. So if the power of calling and connecting just now is related to Otsutsuki Yumura, doesn't it mean that he has noticed himself? Isn't he and Otsutsuki Kegaya now in an exposed state, in danger at any time? Thinking of this, Hanada Setsuna hurriedly asked Itsuki Kegaya with an anxious face. Grandma, has he noticed us? In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya shook his head and said. Hamura didn't notice us, my body is still sealed in the earth explosion star, and the sealing power in your body is very magical, and Yumura can't find it. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's words, Hanada Setsuna breathed a sigh of relief. If Otsutsuki Yumura really found out, he who has not yet grown up will definitely be killed. And Otsutsuki Kegaya in his body will be resealed into Ludao Earthburst Star by the two brothers again, this is something Hanada Setsuna will never allow to happen. Caressing the sky blue Tensagon in his eyes, feeling the call and connection from the moon that had disappeared, Hanada Setsuna said worriedly. Grandma, is that power to call and connect temporarily gone, or is it gone forever? This question is very important to Hanada Setsuna, so important that it can decide whether he should use Tenseiken in the future. In the confined space, Kegaya Otsutsuki looked at the barren white land calmly and said softly. Don't worry, with my concubine here, that power will not pose any threat to you. Hearing Otsutsuki Kegaya's calm and domineering words in his ears, Hanada was stunned for a moment. Yes, now he has the ancestor of Chakra Kegaya Itsuki in his body, so there is nothing to worry about. What should be worried about is Otsutsuki Yuya and Otsutsuki Yumura. After he rescues his grandmother from the seal, he will go and beat up those two unfilial sons. Then lock them both into Ludao Earthburst and seal them, let them both taste the feeling of being sealed. Hanada Setsu patted his face, forcing himself to calm down and not think about these messy targets, he is still too weak now. These goals can only be achieved when he becomes stronger and reaches Otsutsuki Kegaya's level. What he has to do now is to find out who is the sole body next to Akashino Gong Yuri. Thinking of this, Hanada Setsuna began to mobilize the chakra in his body, and converged towards the Tenseigen in his eyes. All the abilities of Bayan have been perfectly inherited by Tenseiken at this time. Through the vision of Tenseiken, Setsuna noticed that Kakashi in the side room was working hard to refine chakra. Looking at Kakashi who was trying to refine chakra in the room, sympathy flashed in Hanada Setsuna's eyes. This guy will be pitted by Uchiha Obito's Sharingan in the future. Although Sharingan was a birthday gift given to him by Uchiha Obito, it also brought a great burden on Kakashi who did not have Uchiha's blood in the body and the lack of chakra. Although Kakashi later opened the kaleidoscope Sharingan and had Kamui as his trump card, but due to the scarcity of his own chakra, he used it once, which is not too pitiful. Hayuga Setsuna turned his eyes away from Kakashi's direction and looked elsewhere. Is this the daimyo Akinomiya Kensuke? Through Tensegen's insights, Hanada Setsuna discovered that Kensuke Akinomiya was talking to two male ninjas with chakra in their bodies in a secret room. Looking at the chakra in the bodies of the two ninjas who talked with Kensuke Akinomiya, Hanada Setsuna whispered. Junin. It was already late at night outside, but the daimyo was talking with two ninjas in the secret room, a trace of doubt flashed in Hanada Setsuna's eyes. Looking at the three people in the secret room, Akinomiya Kensuke Daimyo was still wearing the luxurious attire that belonged exclusively to Daimyo. And the other two were not wearing the forehead protectors of Konoha village, nor were they wearing the costumes of the guards of the Daiming Mansion. 
This also means that they are not ninjas from Konoha village, but it does not rule out that they are indeed ninjas from Konoha, just without forehead protection. But if they are Konoha ninjas, then who sent them? Danzo. Or Seru Tobi Hirazan. If they are not Konoha ninjas, it means they are wandering ninjas or bounty hunters outside. Of course, it is also possible that the ninja power was privately cultivated by the daimyo, but they don't know it. It's a pity that the three of them talked with their backs to Setsuna Hanada. If it was positive, maybe they could understand the content of the conversation between them through lip language. Finally, after Kensuke Akashino in the secret room finished talking with the two ninjas, the three of them left the secret room very quickly. Two unidentified ninjas left the daimyo mansion, and Akashomiya Kensuke daimyo returned to the bedroom to sleep with his wife in his arms. Hanada Setsuna also looked away. Instead, he looked at his main target this time, the sole body next to Yuri Akashinomiya. Through Tensegan's insight, Hinata Setsuna quickly saw the situation inside the shrine and the sole body following Akashinomiya Yuri. At the same time, Hinata Setsuna also saw a scene that made him blush. This is, through the perspective and insight of Tensegan, Hayuga Setsuna saw the scenery that he had never seen in his previous life. It is a beautiful landscape white, round, and warped. Just a little young. Daming house. Inside the house, a beautiful scenery was reflected in the sky blue Tensegan. Hinata Setsuna blushed and slowly turned his eyes away from the inside of the shrine, he forgot that his Tensegan seemed to be able to see through. Although this time he did see the soul body next to Yuri Akashino, but he also accidentally saw other indescribable things. Embarrassment flashed across Hinata Setsuna's eyes, and he thought secretly while covering his nose with his hands. It's kind of bad. Although that highness is only seven or eight years old, she has everything she should have and what she shouldn't have, and she is still a standard beautiful girl. In the confined space, Otsutsuki Kegai looked at the blushing Hinata Setsuna, and said with a trace of doubt in his words. What happened to you? Didn't the child use Tenseiyan to see the soul body following the human girl? Why is my face so red now? Outside world. A look of unnaturalness flashed across Hinata Setsuna's face, and he took a deep breath and said. No. No grandma, just. I just feel that this summer is a little hot and dry. In the restricted space, Otsutsuki Kegaya also slowly realized that Tenseiyan who inherited the ability of white eyes has the ability to see through. And just now, the child used these eyes to look at a human girl, but there is no doubt that he must have seen all the, cabbage, of other people's house. Otsutsuki Kegaya whispered with dissatisfaction on his face. Bad boy. Then she unilaterally cut the connection with Setsuna Hayuga. This bad boy watched it after seeing it, why did he lie to the concubine, would the concubine still be angry because of such a trivial matter? Otsutsuki Kegaya slowly floated into the central palace in the forbidden space. On the edge of the palace complex, several small palaces were crushed as if they were being vented, and they were gradually collapsing and shattering. Outside world. Hinata instantly felt that the connection between him and Otsutsuki Kegaya was disconnected, a wry smile and embarrassment hung on his face. Obviously, Grandma should have guessed it. After all, she has white eyes and can easily guess what he just did. With a wry smile on Hinata Setsuna's face, he put his hand on his forehead and rubbed it gently. It was so embarrassing, luckily only my grandmother knew about it. If others find out, wouldn't it be comparable to social death? Boom. Accompanied by the sound, Hinata threw his body heavily on the bed in a big font, staring at the ceiling with his eyes wondering what he was thinking. In the shrine. In the darkness of the night, the howling wind shuttled through this silent shrine. In the shrine's backyard hut, tiny lights were lit up, bringing warmth to this silent shrine. In the hut, His Royal Highness Akashinomiya Yuri was talking to the person in front of her with a happy smile on her face, but there was no one on the other side of her except the air. If such a weird scene was seen by her maid, she would probably lose her eyesight and pass out. And in another perspective that others can't see, there is a white-haired old woman floating opposite His Royal Highness Akashinomiya Yuri. The gray-haired old lady had marks left by the years on her face, looking at the excited Akashino Mia Yuri in front of her, the old lady listened gently and quietly in her black eyes. Grandma Shiori, the ninjas sent by Konoha village are so young, they are totally different from what I expected. 
Well, if it's not forbidden, I think I'll meet the third Hokage. I heard that he is the strongest Hokage in history, and he also has the title of Doctor of Ninjutsu. I don't know how my father explained the mission to Konoha village, but he actually sent a ninja who looks younger than me. Grandma Shiori, what method should I use to get those two Mr. Ninjas to return to Konoha village? I'm sorry for making them come all the way to the capital, but the ninjas I want to see are not like them at all. Granny Shiori looked tenderly at the girl in front of her who was complaining endlessly to herself, and stretched out her hand to gently stroke Akashinomi Yuri's black hair. Granny Shiji has memories in her eyes. Since her death, she unexpectedly found that her soul did not go to the pure land of Wangquan, but stagnated in the world of strangers. During that time, she was very panicked, because she once believed that people would go to the pure land and yellow spring after death. But she did not go to the pure land and Wangquan. Such a special situation once made her feel that she was punished by the gods. But she stayed in the world of living people, and found that after the death of other people, their souls were accompanied by the appearance of white light and then ascended to heaven and entered the pure land and yellow spring. But she is the only one who is the most special, no matter how she ascends to heaven with those dead souls, she will be bounced back to the capital in the end. After realizing that she was stagnant in the world of strangers, Granny Shiori also tried many methods, hoping that people could see her, but her repeated attempts only resulted in disappointment and even despair. Granny Shiori has come before the eyes of ninjas, hoping that these ninjas who have strange powers in her opinion can see herself. But those ninjas with strange powers, just like ordinary people, can't see Granny Shiori who has turned into a soul body at all. This made Granny Shiori feel disappointed in these ninjas with strange powers. This was also the first time she felt that the so-called ninjas with strange powers were just like ordinary people, there was no difference at all. And Granny Shiji also tried to leave the capital and go to the outside world after she became the only dead soul stagnated in the living world. After all, she had always stayed in the Daming Mansion and the Royal Capital during her lifetime, and she had never taken a good look at the beautiful scenery outside. But just 10 kilometers after she left the capital, Granny Shiji was pulled by an inexplicable force and brought her back to the capital. The unwilling mother-in-law Shiji also tried again, but every time she left the 10-kilometer range of the capital, she would be pulled back by that inexplicable force. In this way, after countless attempts, Granny Shiji found that she could only move within 10 kilometers from the capital and away from the capital, and once she exceeded the distance, she would be immediately brought back to the capital by that inexplicable force. Since then, Granny Shiji has been living within 10 kilometers from the capital. And as the only dead soul stagnant in the living world, she also saw things that she had never seen before. Like the dark side of the capital. Such as the ugliness of the human heart. And the suffering of those poor children. All of this made her feel pain and disgust. Seeing these ugly things and suffering, Granny Shiji hated those officials and nobles extremely. And she also wanted to change all this, but as a dead soul, she couldn't touch others at all, and even others couldn't see her at all. Until that day, the child in front of me was born. La la la, the second watch arrives on time. Shrine. In the house in the backyard of the shrine, Grandma Shiori looked at the girl in front of her and fell into a long memory. At that time, she had just returned from a tour outside, floating on the streets of the capital. After hearing that the daimyo's child was born, she couldn't hold back her emotions and floated over. Ever since she became the only dead soul living in the living world, Granny Shiji may only bring some comfort and hope to her sad heart when she sees young children. But when Granny Shiori rushed to the Daming Mansion and looked at the newly born Akashinomiya Yuri, Granny Shiori was surprised to find that the child in front of her could see her as a dead soul. Obviously those people around at that time still couldn't see Granny Shiori who was a dead soul, but Akashinomiya Yuri who was lying on the crib seemed to be able to see it. When she was a baby, Yuri Akashino, with a smile on her face, waved her chubby little hands towards Granny Shiori. Looking at Yuri Akashino who was lying on the bed and waving to her, her mood at that time was really complicated and excited. No one could understand what her inner emotions were like at that time. Since she became the only dead soul in the living world, how she longed for someone to see her and chat with her. After confirming that Yuri Akashinomiya could indeed see her, she loved this girl more than anyone else. 
Even the mother-in-law Shiji at that time went to the other newborn children in the capital, hoping that those children could see her too. It's a pity that those children are completely different from Yuri Akashino, they can't see Granny Shiori who is a dead soul at all. Only Yuri Akashino is special. Disappointed, she had no choice but to return to the Daming Mansion, where she has been taking care of and loving Akashomiya Yuri to grow up. Later, as Akinomiya Yuri grew up slowly, Granny Shiori also learned why she saw Granny Shiori as a dead soul through the description of Akinomiya Yuri. Aki Shinomiya Yuri's eyes are different from other people's. Ordinary people can only see the world in which the living live. And she Akashinomiya Yuri can not only see the world where the living people live, but also see the scene of people ascending to heaven and entering the pure land and yellow spring after death. And this small shrine located in the Daimyo prefecture was actually established by Akashinomiya Yuri for Granny Shiori. Granny Shiji always believed that the reason why she could not enter the world of the dead after death was the punishment of the gods, so she asked Chu Shinomiya Yuri to help build this small shrine. In normal times, Granny Shiori also prays in this shrine. Mother-in-law, you're back to your senses. Hiroshi Akushino mischievously waved his hands in front of Granny Shiori. Granny Shiori came back from her memories, looked at the mischievous Akashino Miya Yuri in front of her, and said with a gentle smile in her eyes. Little Yuri, what's wrong? Akashinomiya Yuri sat on the bench dangling her pair of short legs, and said with a sad face. Well, mother-in-law, I'm thinking about how to get those two ninjas from Konoha to go back. What she wants to see most is the third generation of Naruto Serutobi Hirazan, not these two ninjas who are younger than her, so Akinomiya Yuri is very distressed now. Looking at Akashinomiya Yuri, who is full of sadness in front of her, Grandma Shiori said jokingly with a smile in her eyes. Little Yuri, if a girl makes a sad face at such a young age, you will become ugly when you grow up. Akashino Gong Yuri's face was suffering, but after hearing these words, he quickly made a cute expression, and even stretched out his hands to his mouth to make a smiling face. She doesn't want to be ugly. Looking at the serious and serious cute little girl in front of her, Granny Shiji also had a happy smile on her face. Little Yuri, you are the treasure given to me by the gods. I won't let anyone hurt you. Granny Shiori floated to the window and said, looking at the moon in the sky, which was paler than before. If Xiao Yuli wants those two ninjas to return to Muya village, you can tell your father directly, he will not refuse Xiao Yuli's request. Seeing Granny Shiori floating in front of the window, Akinomiomi Yuri stopped acting cute, and said with distress on his face again. Even if I go to say something, my father will not refuse my request. But those two ninjas from Konoha have only been here for a day. If they are allowed to return to Konoha village like this, they must have a lot of distress. I don't want those two Mr. Ninjas to go back like this because of my personal wishes. If they go back like this, their ninja careers will also be dusted by it. Yes, his Royal Highness Akashino Miya Yuri is such a gentle and considerate person, he is fundamentally different from others. Granny Shiori turned around and said with gentle eyes, looking at the lovely Akashio Miya Yuri in front of her. If Xiao Yuli doesn't want to do this, you can ask them to protect you and go outside to play for a few days, and then just find a reason to let them go back to Muya village. Xiao Yuli, haven't you always been eager to take a look at the outside world? With the protection of those two ninjas, surely your father will agree. Akashino Gong Yuri had hesitation on her face, and after hearing Granny Shiori's words, she was moved. Since the birth of Yuri Akashino, she has been living in this famous mansion. Never had a chance to go out. Although the life in Akisinonomiya Yuri Daimyo's mansion is very good, she also wants to go out to see different scenery and life. And I used to learn about the outside world through Granny Shiji, and now I finally have the opportunity to go and see for myself. But, why did Granny Shiji, who had always disagreed with her going out before, agree today? You must know that when she wanted to go out before, Granny Shiji always disagreed, why today? Akashinomiya Yuri looked at Granny Shiori with a hesitant face and said. Grandma, why did you agree to let me go out this time? Granny Shiori floated in front of Yuri Akashino, with gentle eyes, she touched her little head and said. Because, those two ninjas can protect you Yuri very well. Looking at the ignorant Akashinomiya Yuri in front of her, 
Granny Shiori couldn't help but think of the ninja with a rabbit face mask she perceived this morning. Anbu named Yayi with a rabbit face mask has a terrifying chakra in his body. That's something that Granny Shiori has never discovered among the ninjas she has seen before. The ninjas she has seen before, even if they are adult ninjas, the chakra in their bodies is not as much as the one wearing a rabbit face mask this morning. Even though that child is younger than Xiao Yuli, he is already so strong. According to what people call him, he should be called a genius. As for the kid with a dog face mask called White Wolf, he has very little chakra in his body, but compared to those ninjas she has seen before, he is considered excellent. When she sensed the chakra in the child Bai this morning, Granny Shiji also expected this genius to see herself. To her disappointment, this genius couldn't see her at all. Looking at the lovely Akashinomiya Yuri in the red and white Miko costume, Granny Shiori thought secretly. Xiao Yuli, you are indeed unique. The next morning, Hayuga Setsuna and Kakashi went to the shrine under the leadership of their attendants after eating the breakfast prepared by the daimyo chef. Seeing the shrine getting closer and closer to him, Hinata Setsuna's face under the rabbit mask flashed an unnatural expression. Yesterday, he accidentally saw all the daughters of other people's names, and now he is going to face the real master, which is really embarrassing. Until he woke up this morning, Hinata Setsuna still flashed through his head the scenery and beauty he saw last night from time to time. Under the leadership of the attendants, we walked through the Vermilion Torii Gate, stepped on the new steps, and came to the shrine. Looking at the shrine in front of him, Hinata Setsuna had a complicated look in his eyes, thinking secretly. It's good to keep calm. Anyway, except for Grandma, no one else knows what happened last night. At the same time, Yuri Akashino, who was having breakfast in the shrine, heard from the maid that the two Konoha ninjas had arrived. He hurriedly got up and walked outside, and he didn't forget to grab a few rice balls before leaving. Seeing this scene, Granny Shiori, who was floating beside Akashino Mia Yuri, said softly with a smile in her eyes. Greedy child. In the outer hall of the shrine, Setsuna Hayuga and Kakashi are waiting for the arrival of His Royal Highness Akashomiya Yuri. It didn't take long for the two of them to see Yuri Akashinomiya, who was trotting here in the distance, wearing a red and white shrine maiden costume. Looking at Akashinomiya Yuri in the red and white shrine maiden costume, Hinata Setsuna's mind began to involuntarily resurface the scene of last night. Hayuga Setsuna quickly took a deep breath and shook off all the images in his head. On the other hand, Kakashi looked at Setsuna Hinata who seemed to have something wrong beside him, and the face under the dog face mask also showed a curious look. Hiroshi Akushino, who trotted all the way to the front of the two, put his hands on his knees, panting with a blush on his face, and said apologetically in his words. Sorry, I'm late. She chatted with Granny Shiji last night before going to bed very late, and this morning she just woke up. Even she ran over without taking a few bites of breakfast. She didn't eat breakfast, and with the trotting all the way here, considering her physique, it was really embarrassing for her. Hinata Setsuna looked at the cute girl with a blush on her face and said calmly. It's okay, your highness. Are you calling us? Kakashi on the side also nodded to show that he was fine. Chu Shinomiya Yuri got up and patted his chest lightly to ease his rapid breathing and said. I called you two here to ask you to protect me, because I want to see the scenery outside these few days. After Shiori's mother-in-law told her such an idea last night, Akashinomiya Yuri was moved, that's why Hinata Setsuna and Kakashi were called over today. After hearing these words, Hinata Setsuna frowned slightly under the rabbit face mask, and said with hesitation in his words. Your Highness, if you want to go out, we will naturally protect you. But will the daimyo allow your highness to go out? Seeing that his highness in front of him suddenly asked to go outside, Hinata Setsuna could probably guess that this should be said by the old woman next to Akashino Mia Yuri. Ever since I saw this old lady with Yuri Akashino with Tensagen last night. Hinata Setsuna understood a little bit why the daimyo told them back then that Yuri Akashino Mia liked to fantasize and ask strange questions. I like fantasy probably because I can see things that ordinary people can't see. And if he likes to ask strange questions, it is probably because he was a little precocious under the teaching of this old woman since he was a child. 
and this time I suddenly said that I want to go out to see the scenery outside, is it really just to see the scenery? Thinking of what the daimyo had told them to protect Akashinomiya Yuri more recently, Hinata Setsuna's eyes under the rabbit face mask darkened. Akashino Gong Yuri said with a smug smile and joy on his face. My lord father has agreed to let me go outside. When she first woke up in the morning, Yuri Akashino sent the maid in attendance to find the daimyo. And the daimyo no longer objected to her going out as usual this time, but only warned her to stay under the protection and sight of the Konoha ninja. A look of surprise flashed in Hinata Setsuna's eyes, he really didn't expect the daimyo to agree to let Akinomiya Yuri go to the outside world. They had clearly instructed them to protect Akashino Gong Yuri before, but now they let her out abnormally. And isn't it safer to stay in the daiming mansion than outside? Thinking back to what happened in the land of fire these two days, Hinata Setsuna frowned fiercely. The daimyo's conversation with two unidentified ninjas late at night, and the strange attitude of receiving them both. The soul of the dead staying in the world of the living next to Yuri Akashinomiya. And that person who stays in the dark and wants to attack Akishinomiya Yuri. A glimmer of haze flashed across Hinata Setsuna's eyes. In his opinion, this mission was simply too strange and inexplicable. After being silent for a while, Hinata Setsuna said. Since the daimyo has agreed to your highness to go out, when shall we leave? Since he couldn't figure out the mission this time, Setsuna Hinata decided to go along with the flow and stay by Akashinomiya Yuri's side. Judging from the current situation, all the core points are related to Yuri Akashino, as long as you stay by her side, you will always figure out everything. Looking at Setsuna Hinata who had already agreed in front of him, Akashinomiya Yuri said happily. Of course we're leaving now. But you still have to change your clothes. Hinata Setsuna raised her eyebrows after hearing these words, and said with a doubtful tone in her words. Change clothes. Looking at the two puzzled people in front of him, Akashino Miya Yuri said with a distressed expression. Of course, if you don't change your clothes, your clothes are too conspicuous. Also, only the two of you are going outside this time, so there is no need for guards and maids. Looking at the doubtful two people in front of him, Akashino Gong Yuri continued after a pause. If there is any danger this time, the protection of the two of you ninjas is enough. If there is an enemy that even the two of you can't deal with, it doesn't matter how many guards and maids I bring. Listening to Akashino Miya Yuri's words, Hinata Setsuna's eyes flashed with surprise. Such words were taught by the soul body old lady. Or is it his majesty's own thought? At this moment, Kakashi on the side suddenly spoke softly. Your Highness, it would be very dangerous if both of us appeared in the open. Why don't I continue to stay in the dark to protect His Highness, while Captain 8 will protect His Highness in the open? Listening to Kakashi's words, Hinata Setsuna was speechless for a moment. Kakashi obviously finds it troublesome, but he didn't expect to learn how to fish at such a young age. But this kind of plan is exactly what I want. I hope there will be some different harvests today. What do you think, your highness? Hinata Setsuna asked Akinomiya Yuri. Akashino Gong Yuli had hesitation on her face, she still thought that if there were three people, it would be more lively, if there were two people, would it be too boring? At this time, the figure of Granny Shiori appeared behind Kakashi, and said to Akashinomiya Yuri with a smile on her face. Shao Yuli, promise. Looking at the figure of Granny Shiori, Hiroshi Akino nods without hesitation and said. I agree. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.